This week, Saturday, on DR Sports, we're going to be hosting a very special watch along. It's UFC 286, and we're going to be doing a watch along to the big fight. It is Leon Edwards versus Kamara Usman. You've got to come and check it out live here on DR Sports. I'm going to be hosting it with our brand new MMA host, Zaki. We'll be giving you the lowdown on the fight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, easy, bro. You ready? What's all that? What's all this? You said you're gonna get stuck in. We're gonna no, no, I ain't yeah, signed up for that. No, no, no. What do you no. mean? You, that's, that's what we said we're gonna do. Okay, we'll worry about Robbie in a sec. But listen, make sure you join us on Saturday evening from nine o'clock. UFC 286, Kamaru Usman versus Leon Edwards, the trilogy fight. Who's gonna win? We'll find out on Saturday. Make sure you join us, Robbie. I swear we're gonna go live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tapping, I'm tapping. <laughs> yes, good afternoon and welcome back to DR Sports for another edition of the Saturday Football Show with myself, AGT. We've got Fuad in the building as well. Yes. Big up to you, my man. Hi. We've also got Aaron in the building. Last time I saw you, it was seven of the best, my friend. <laughs> um, but it's good to see you again smiling this time. And then to my right, got Big JT, you, James Toon in the studio. How are you doing, fella? Oh, it's good to be here, mate. Great to be here. It is absolutely boiling in here. But I have from, the air on. from a former knockout on the screen there to four knockouts on your screen right now. How's it going, boys? It's going to be a good Saturday. And it always is it when is. you're on the DR Sports. I mean, last time I was Saturday here, it was show. popping off instantly, wasn't it? Bournemouth it was. banging within the first 50 seconds. Can Hopefully there's, the uh, there's no Robbie to, to come and invade the set at the end of the, the show today. But as you just see uh, on your screen, Robbie will be in involved in the watch along tonight for the big one 286 the big UFC fight Leon Edwards versus Kamara Usman the third trilogy fight make sure you tune in tonight nine o'clock we're going to have all the action for you here on DR Sports you might even see Robbie get put in a headlock <laughs> so well, well seeing that it. rear naked choke that he had him in there I certainly hope he doesn't come on set because we could be in for some danger That's absolutely sure. uh, massive shout out to everyone who's already locked in and, and those of you have been waiting for us to start we do apologize um, a slight uh, substitution just at the last minute. Um, so we had a bit of extra time to add on at the end there. But no, we're here. We're with you. We're 13 minutes away from the three o'clock kickoffs. Uh, the cherry man is here in the comments. Uh, I'm assuming you mean me, seeing yeah. as I ducked out last week, hey, hey, <laughs> even though it was you. my planned weekend you. off. Oh, uh, Robbie plan, doesn't. Eh? No, 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 no. Yeah. Robbie doesn't. Oh, like, Robbie doesn't you. like to, you know, uh, remember those <laughs> those facts before he says that I was ducking it. But I'm here. You can't um, can't miss me today. So if you want to give me some abuse, then uh, make sure you get it Certainly in the comments. I might not read all of them out. Well, how convenient! You're here on the day that your game's postponed, so you can't get any smoke. Exactly. Because you and would be holding would some from Fulham. That's no, sure. exactly. I'm quite happy this game's off. <laughs> Got about 16 days to the next game that we play, so uh, take the time off. AGT has been missing in action. He's going to get something today from C Law AFC. Uh, a lot of cherries in the comments. Breaking news: DR Sports will be a few minutes late due to AGT finishing off a bowl of cherries. Ooh. Hey, they're on you. They are on AGT's you. AGT's wife went nice. shopping and bought him some fruit. Guess what fruit she got him? Some cherries. But um. <laughs> Again, that's great. To be fair, you asked for it with all the seven up stuff that you were banging on about for a week. That is so. true. That is true. You I went on for a good seven, seven days. Around, mate. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. Mate, I'd never heard so many cans <laughs> opening in my life. No, I was like, everyone was like, afterwards cracking out. I cooked it, flex, I said, hold I on. I cooked flex. I, I felt bad for him. He was just sat there. He, he held his he licks. Was, he was held, yeah, he was holding. He held his licks, but yeah. I cooked him for a good three and a half minutes. It was great, but then obviously six days later, we it's go and lose to Bournemouth. He's so never there normally go. on the show, and it's yeah. like, hey, 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 we need you for this special bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please yeah. come through. Come, come through. <laughs> um, <laughs> come on, lads, pull your finger out. 15 minutes late, we do apologise, Jordi Toon, but you're here with us now, so please don't complain. Uh, Leeds are going down, lads, saying uh, Filawi. They're, of course, playing away <laughs> today <laughs> at Wolves, and James will be keeping a keen eye on that one. Funny joke, mate. Um, what a European trophy for Arsenal. We'll be speaking about Arsenal's exit in wow, the Europa trophy. League as well. James Toon should join the Toon Army, yeah. says Tendi Item. It's ironic, isn't it? I really should be a Newcastle fan. They play at St. James's Park and they're called the Toon Army. Toon, yeah. There you yeah, go. James Toon. There you go. Uh, Liverpool have a massive break. AGT, you better be happy with that, says uh, Kumaran. Yes, I am. I am. I really am. Seventh Paul saying Ahmad Doshan with the super chat. Uh, give us a quack, AGT, says Eric. Quack. 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 Quack.
Um, oh, yeah, oh, duck off, ooh. mate. Huh? What? Yeah. Oh, because <laughs> you ducked the oh, show. Hey, hey, boss. Oh, that's good. Mate. <laughs> hey, yeah. See, that was that quick. I like that for you, mate. No, no, no. no, 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 no went over, went over for my head. It's like a sleeveless hey. jumper. <laughs> um, cherry up Liverpool fans conference league next season from Daniela. Big up to you, Daniela. Hey, safe, I'll um, make it to the conference there you league, go. Mate. Cheers, mate. Uh, great to see you guys back. My favourite DR presenters saying Rodders 007 and Isaac. How great is he? We will be speaking about the Newcastle game from last night as well. But let's get into the lineups. Ten minutes now from kickoffs uh, all over the country in the Premier League Championship, League One, League Two. We've even been watching some Scottish Premiership where Rangers mm. have won four two away at Motherwell, and of course there's some European games as well. But Aston Villa, Bournemouth, massive game this one for. Aston Villa I think they've lost 4 out of 15 under Unai Emery so they'll be looking to kick on Brentford Leicester that could be a lot harder for Leicester than they, they might presume uh, Liverpool Fulham as we know postponed thank God for that um, Fulham flying at the minute and obviously they're in the FA Cup playing Manchester United tomorrow so no game there Southampton Spurs big game that Fulham had massive game Wolves versus Leeds for you, that's a huge game as well. And Chelsea Everton, can they continue their good form under, well, very, very recent good form under Graham Potter? Uh, but let's get into the Aston Villa Bournemouth lineups, if we can. Aaron. Absolutely. Starting with Aston Villa with Martinez in goal, Cash, Conser, Mings, and Alex Moreno um, at the back, Leon Bailey, Douglas Louise, John McGinn, uh, Ramsey, Buendia, and Watkins. Uh, for Bournemouth, we have Neto starting in goal, Stephens, Kelly, Lerma, Solanke, Watara, Rothwell, Smith, Sensei, Billing and Anthony. Yep, the team that beat Liverpool last week. Um, little prediction for that one. Obviously, keep your predictions coming in the comments, but Villa Bournemouth, what can we see Villa there? Bournemouth. I can see a draw, to be honest. I'm going to say 2-2. Two, two. Uh, just Going because for of that. That confidence from last week, you think yeah. that gets them a draw today? I think, yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go for a home win on that one, a slim home win. I think Ollie Watkins, obviously uh, having a very nice purple patch, so I'm going to go with him to score a couple. What do you reckon? Uh, well, I haven't had any luck since I've been on the show the past few weeks, so I think that I'm going to get nice today and Villa are going to do the business. Okay. I would say Villa as well. Villa just? Baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bournemouth have to, they can't keep Bournemouth pulling this out, can they? <laughs> and that's the thing, I think sometimes against the bigger sides, it's probably easier to get up for those games that maybe yeah. want to be the kind of party pooper. This is kind of their level. To be fair, for both teams, it's kind of a six-pointer. So, a lot on the line for both of them. Uh, wow. Brentford, Leicester. Um, obviously, Brendan Rodgers under pressure again. Uh, but Brentford, unbelievable season for them. How do they line up today? They start with Raya in goal. Uh, Hickey, Pinnock. Ben Mee and Henry at the back, Norgard, Jensen and Damsgaard in midfield, and Mbermo, Wissa and Tony. Tony up top. England call up as well for Ivan Tony. Congratulations mm -hmm. to him, finally getting the nod. Um, Southampton Spurs, massive game this one for Tottenham in their quest to, to keep up with Newcastle, really. Well, they're ahead of them, of course, but to maybe slip away from them even more. How do they line up today? Um, so you've got the Southampton line up there at home, of course. Uh, Bazunu in goal, Walkers Peters, Perro. Bednarek and Bella Kotchap as a back four. And then you've got Ward Prowse, uh, El Yanusi, Armstrong, Walcott, and Lavia in the midfield five. And then Shea Adams up top. And then for Spurs, we have Fraser Forster in goal, back three of Dyer, Romero, and Lengley. Midfield of Skip, Hoiberg, Pedro Porro, and Davis on the wings. And then Son Hyun Min, Richarlison, and Harry Kane up front. Harry Kane needing the line as always. Oof, no um, cool. no your cool. team away at Wolves. Yeah, that's a big one, man. This is the six-pointer of all six-pointers, man. The up there is so mad. From 12th to 20th, there's five points in it. Mm. Everything's to play for. Uh, the lineups for Wolves, who are the home side. You've got Jose Sarr in goal. Dawson, Kilman, Castro, and Samedo at the back. Ruben Neves, Lamina, Gomez de Silva, Pedence, who I'm quite scared of, to be honest. Uh, Lomba Neto and Jimenez up front, who isn't really going to get a sniff, let's be real. Not against an informed Voba and Cock at the back. The main man, Melier. This is the day where he keeps himself that clean sheet. Luke Ayling, he's going to be strumming that guitar after he strings one in the back of the net. Furpo, senior Furpo left back. You think anyone's getting past him? You think again, my son. McKenny and Rocker. No, Adams. That's the big one. No Tyler Adams. He is injured. Uh, that guy, I mean, the Duracell battery had to run out at some point. Unfortunately, it has. Nonto finally starting. Aronson, Harrison, and Patrick Bamford. Wow. Um, Happy with that team? 
I mean, without Tyler Adams, I don't know how we're going to play in the midfield. We do heavily rely on him. And Patrick Bamford up front, I mean, uh, I mean, sometimes he's like a, a wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube man. He's got just no coordination up there. Sometimes you see him whipping an absolute banger from 30 yards. So you don't know what you're going to get with him since his injury. But it's Wolves. Wolves are a pretty dead side, really. I mean, only really average teams seem to be losing to Wolves recently. So uh, I think we should be all right. Shots fired. From, uh, JT. <laughs> Can I ask you, by the way, the, I've been on here, what, three times with you in the past month, and, e and every time it's been Leicester who are next to us, it's been Wolves, and now Southampton. Can you do us a favour for once, mate? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see your misery. No. We love it. Um, the blue side of Merseyside down in West London today to play Chelsea. Um, how did Chelsea line up here? Ooh. Let me get it up. One second. So we got. Oh, lineup's actually on out. Oh yeah, sweet to it. Lineup. That's the fact mm -hmm. that kick off Chelsea. Oh yeah, oh, yeah it is. Yeah, it's yeah. predicted it is. lineup. It is. Yeah. That Hold is on, the fire. Oh, you tricked me. Yeah. We will <laughs> give you that one. Me by the end of the day. Uh, Chelsea versus Everton at five. 30. Couple of super chats. AGT and Fuad. How hard are you hoping for an Arsenal crumble tomorrow? Saying London Nomad with a super chat. <laughs> Ain't no hoping. Listen, the game is. The you're game. you're hoping more than me. I'd say. Just I'm because of the. To be honest, I can I'm get it from Fuad, but yeah, I don't understand Listen, your agenda. No, I don't have an agenda. I, I've said multiple times of what I think about a title race. It's like I've said I wouldn't rule City out. I don't think five points is a huge gap, and they still have City to play. None of those things are wishing anything upon Arsenal. Arsenal have been the title favourites and have put themselves in the position to be that. It's theirs to lose. No, but it makes sense that you wouldn't want Arsenal yeah. to win. I mean, have you got your have you got your flights booked? My question is, is it's already pretty much written that they are going to win the league now. Like so this. where are you flying like off to because when the season ends? I don't know why there's a presumption that titles have been won. Is it one? Has it yeah, been oh, money back guaranteed. I would I put my house this. on it, mate. Love, I've seen titles Ooh, lost okay. much later. I've Ooh. seen titles lost oh, much man. later. Look at the eyes. You put your Wendy house on it. Nothing's done played. yet. Nothing's I mean, done yet. It means you, Wendy house. I mean, you don't think house. potentially that Europa League defeat <laughs> midweek could affect no. the morale a little Spurs bit? Spurs them on, mate, if that's anything, mate. Spurs them on. Could it not affect them a little bit? No. I mean, you saw... Do you think so? Could it not? I, I'm I asking. Mean, there's, there's a chance that there, there's a chance. Of course, there's a chance. Well, there you but, go. As and long as there's a, be a chance. massive test, but I don't see it, man. They're too mentally strong that side under Arteta. The, the way is, he, is the we've seen this doing. season that Arsenal have been affected when Partey's out, Jesus is out. Whether it's their play, whether it's results. Yeah, but have they though? They, they, Even when they, Jesus is out, they still did well with They've been the number Ketia. one team undisputed. I'm not saying Arsenal aren't going to win the title. I don't want them to win the title. <laughs> I'm telling you Obviously. why there's other reasons where it's not. You're going on like it's a foregone conclusion like many Arsenal fans have yeah. done this season I've seen shirts getting printed <laughs> Christmas times and I'm like listen be careful hey live in the moment though you've got to live in the moment you've hey, got to enjoy don't, it yeah, but they live in the a moment but don't be a prisoner years? of the moment mm. that's the no. saying do not be a prisoner of the moment because guess what Things like that, they live forever. And we will spin the block. There you go. <laughs> uh, Tina in the comments with a super chat. What uh, impact will the exit from the Europa League uh, have on Arsenal for the rest of the season? The Arsenal team looked lost against uh, Sporting. Liverpool to play Bodo Glimt in the Conference League. <laughs> uh, big up to you, Tina. Always getting involved with the show. Still uh, a glimpse for you. Cheers, mate. Um, we will unpack that a little bit later on in the show, for sure. Um, another super chat here. I oh, know it's just a, a normal chat. Fuad is crying, saying Guni Topa, talking about Arsenal. Uh, he's saying Fuad cry more. Um, same thing they said oh, last crap. year, top four secured. <clears throat> we saw what happened then, saying Tim Younger. There you go. Let's talk about the game that happened last night. We're two minutes away from the three o'clock kickoffs now. Nottingham Forest won. Newcastle two. It was a massive three points for Newcastle in their quest to get top four and European football of some sort. Um, Isaac getting two. Mm -hmm. Is he now starting to show us that level of consistency and availability that he's, uh, that he's promised before the move? I mean, it was a, it was a big fee. For, yeah. for Isaac it wasn't a small fee I think that maybe goes under the radar but what we're seeing from him now is is maybe what we thought we would see at the start absolutely and I think you put you hit the nail on the head there is the availability he has to be available especially if he wants to help Newcastle secure top four maybe or qualify for Europe whether it's the Europa League or the Conference League you have to be available and him being available for Newcastle you've seen it yesterday difference maker 
and um, yeah. I think scored one, set one up for um, his teammate and Anderson, I think, but that was ruled offside. But yeah, scoring two goals, Good scoring the all-important well. penalty in the end as well. Cold nerves. Yeah, he has to be available for Newcastle. If if he is, you see what he done yesterday. That finish as well, the first goal, ridiculous. Is so it yeah. a bit of a shinner that one. Yeah, no, not a bit. Quite a lot, <laughs> but it's, it's still a good finish. If you don't um, buy a ticket, you don't win the raffle. There you go. I was going to say though, he's almost like a new signing in the second half of the season, isn't he? Because he yeah, because he's been quite injured the whole yeah. first half through injuries. Yeah. But Newcastle yeah, really having unlucky. not made signings in January, looking for that maybe bit of freshness up top. Because you know, Callum Wilson really and truly, as much as he well, we talk goals, about availability, he can't. He's been injured. Be as well. relied upon either. Yeah, so to have unavailable. him as a backup option, I think seventy million they definitely paid a lot, mm. and I think it was kind of more potential based. You would say because. I think last season he got seven league goals in that league, I think it is. So he's not exactly the most prolific, but you can definitely see the raw ability and the talent is there. Yeah, so sure. if there's a diamond in the rough, there's, there's something there for him in the second half to make it. I saw his uh, debut. It was actually at Anfield in the game that we beat them last 10 seconds and, and he, he scored. scored. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. He, and he scored an offside goal as well. It was inches. And I was yeah. thinking, this guy looks yeah. tricky because he's not necessarily... You wouldn't have him down as a, a big bullish number nine. Yeah. But he's quite lanky, but he's he's very he's very unorthodox. Somalian, man. Yeah. He's, got yeah. the yeah. the he's got all the physic he's got all the physical Somali abilities. brothers out here, man. Yeah. My Somali brothers out here, you know. Got what I'm we finally got one <laughs> out got there. The same mix as my <laughs> no, no, no. He's Eritrean, man. Oh, he's Eritrean. <laughs> but she's Somali and Swedish, right? Yeah, my I think so. I, oh, I think. And he plays in Sweden, right? Yep. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Listen, East uh, Africa's everywhere, done. man. You know what I'm saying? Um, Global. But no, he, he's done well. Did you also um, see what Trippier did for the penalty? So naturally, when it's the last minute, and even if it isn't the last minute, the other team's players will keep talking to the ref to delay the spot kick taker, mm. try and get in his head, stamp on the spot a bit. So what they did was they sent, and this is a common theme that I'm seeing week in, week out with other teams. We have it with Henderson where... Henderson kicked will, off. we are kicked off in the three o'clock games, by the way, now. Um, so, for example, Henderson will get the ball, stand on the penalty spot, hold the ball. Mm. And then once all the melee has come away, he'll give the ball to Salah and then he'll go and put it on the spot. And okay. that's what Trippier did last night. He kind of protected the ball, said Rashley to Young Isaac, go and stand over there. Yeah. So no one even knows you're taking it. Yeah. And then when the ref gets everyone out of the box, I'll give it then to you. you give it. And then yeah. there's no keeper trying to come off his line a bit kick the spot it's quite clever I think Actually, I think Young yeah, did that a couple of weeks ago as well yeah, didn't he for yeah, Villa yeah, I remember yeah. and then for was Buendia. it Danny Ings I think Danny Ings came and slotted in <clears> yeah, <throat> and then it was like oh he took all the abuse but then last second just palms up yeah. listen it's, it's clever good technique. I think but it's the, good the thing is, is in that kind of case I think as a opposing player you have to be smart and know does this guy actually take the pens oh he's not the one I got a rattle if that makes sense like, I'm looking at that and seeing Ashley Young and saying you ain't taking. Ash yeah, Young ain't taking a penalty him. in years. Why is he holding this ball? Yeah. He is a bit who's of a the, who's specialist, the though. Hmm? He's a set piece specialist, but penalties. I know that I'm seeing Danny Ings on a pitch. I'm looking at him like. Hmm. I don't think I've seen Young take a pen, but it's a good. It's a good way to kind of. Um, I get it, yeah. To block out the noise and allow the taker to really get in the zone. Um, saying that, Salah missed the pen that he uh, mm. that he got mm. last week against Bournemouth and by some distance as well. By the way, <laughs> I was mate. You should have seen me watching that game. That one. I was like, yeah, oh no, <laughs> uh, he really poor. Most of his penalties. Well. That's, that's the thing. The thing he does not miss this guy. Lucky Early man. chance for Tottenham in the first couple he of minutes here, but he definitely missed there. that one. For Newcastle, though, back on them. Before we move on, will they make the top four? We know, well, we don't know because nothing's guaranteed in life apart from death and taxes. However, we know that they're probably going to end up with European football at some level. Um, is that the minimum now for their season? Uh, the minimum, definitely European football. I think if they don't get top four, you could look at it as a bad season. I mean, it's very tough to say from where they were at the beginning of the season, but from where they are now, especially how they were playing early, I know they tailed off a little bit and then they've started to get a couple of results back again. Chance for Southampton. Ooh. Good block from Lengle and it comes back out to oh one. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Early pressure. <laughs> From man, the Saints fix up Ooh, against man. Tottenham here. Fix your boys there, bro. What the hell? <laughs> fix up, come on, man. Fix up, fix this guy's meant to be some breakout <laughs> centre half, mate. Bro. Sort your boys out. <laughs> but no, yeah, I think that's it, harsh. I was saying if they don't get top four, that they'll be out. Yeah, that's what I was going to say as well. I, I think, think because of the position they the were, position I don't buy in, that at all. I think start of the season. Look, you guys have been crumbling. This is their best chance to get it. I think start of the season. You ask Newcastle fans, do you see yourself as a top four team? Hell no. Yeah, the absolutely. fact that they're in there, they are playing way above expectations. I think 
The disappointment maybe is the fact that they got to a Carabao Cup final and lost that. That's the biggest disappointment this season. However, if they finish in any of the European spots, because I had them, you've got the top six, which this season on paper should have been locked as a top six. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. And they were supposed to be the seventh team oh. that are going to be outside three. Charleston going and off in tears. If they get Europa League, for me, that's Europa League and a cup final. That's a successful, that's progression from where they were. And that's a step towards the club they want to be, an actual serious top six contending club. To, how do you break up the monopoly? Finish in the top six. So Yeah, but you've got to change goals depending on where you are in the season. You can't keep it all the same. It's the same way when Arsenal finished second behind Leicester. Yeah, maybe if you ask them at the, the beginning of the Arsenal year, now must win where the they title, were halfway I get that. through. Yeah, exactly. But Newcastle now, if they finish in the top six. No, it still be, it'll still be a good the top season. Four, you've but got Spurs there, you've got Liverpool there as well, who on paper, let's be honest, if they hit a bit of form, the way it has been the last couple of weeks as well, that is a that fourth position for me has never been a clear mm. cut there's one team that owns it it's it's been a race all season newcastle took the ascendancy for a couple of weeks but once you hit that kind of nasty run of form they hit pre-cup final you drop like a stone and that's where they are yeah, now but they've but started to pick it up again exactly game, they, they have on, but before that <laughs> before dropping like a stone they were in a position where I mean you wouldn't say they're in a title race but they were third, sniffing, they were sniffing in and around they were it third for and a while. then to drop out and finish and then just claw into the Europa League we saw it with Leicester man the couple of seasons where they dripped away at the end and they, they gifted Chelsea top four and then a couple of seasons later where are they now you have to take those mm. opportunities and speaking of taking opportunities Who's getting relegated? Because I tell you who's not. It's Leeds United. Vamos carajo! <laughs> Jack Harrison. Jack Harrison. On the oh, sixth minute, two yes. goals in two games for him. Well, well three and two if you count his, his own goal last week. <laughs> he scored a great goal as well in that game. But Jack Harrison Woo! puts Leeds 1-0 up away at the Molyneux mm. with six minutes mm -hmm. gone. Oh, it is scintillating. It is saucy. It's Furpo down the left and he drills it into the top right-hand corner. Ain't no keeper in the world saving that. You could get five Manuel Neuers. They're not getting an inch near that, my son. Placed what a so start perfectly. for James too. He should get a trigonometry degree. Yeah, we might have another Charles injury. Has just come off in the Spurs game as well. Kulisevsky's come, <clears> yeah, come off injured. Yeah. Yep. Went off crying. I think he, I don't know, I wasn't even sure what it looked like. Go for oh, Aston Villa! Oh, it gets better and better! What a start <laughs> for Leeds I told James you, the Lund. luck's coming in, baby. Douglas, Douglas Louise. Louise gets the goal for Villa against Bournemouth, this one at Villa Park. Two early goals on the Saturday football show. This is why Love you've that. got to smash that like button. This is why you've got to comment with your thoughts. And this is why Ooh. you subscribe to DR Sports. Please, uh, great course, start to the day tick here. Tick that notification bell while you're on it. And of course, do that. Yeah, uh, Douglas Louise, seven minutes in, uh, gives Villa a great start at home to Bournemouth. I think there's also going to be a substitution for Southampton early on. Uh, Bella yeah, Kotchap going oh. off. <coughs> Shoulder injury. So two Feel changes for him, in five minutes. For Feel for him. He just, um, just got a call teams. up to Germany's squad as well. Yeah. Feel for him, man. He's Bella won Kotchap. it. If they go yeah. down, yeah. hmm. Come, good lad. Old come, old lad. Good. We'll take you over here. I wonder what his favourite sauce is. Yeah, yeah. I've Bella heard that contrary to popular belief, <laughs> it's actually mustard. How can someone yeah. say... <laughs> Why is Roman Reigns <laughs> wearing an Austin 316 shirt shouting around? <laughs> I don't kill you. Two well, early bloodline's crumbling, man. I had to jump ship. Uh, Leeds getting relegated, saying Aiden Triple A. Brother has the Leeds trim, saying Derek. The Leeds trim. Well, there is. People say it's the Jack Harrison trim, so, you know, Jack yeah. Harrison did the business. What can I say? Saying Idolo. Either that. I mean, I'll take the I'll take Roman Reigns over Jack Harrison. Too, Not a bad it? replacement though. Salisu coming on instead of mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like his arms in a temporary sling there. Oh, uh, Roman Salisu. Really feel for him, man. Good manager, you know. I have to say, I've been impressed with. with I his like what he's doing so, so far. far. <laughs> I think he's got a big aura about him where he could go on to, yeah. to bigger and better things. But is he still right. interim or did he get the permanent? I think he's now permanent to the end, the end of the season, season. Ah, okay but yeah. listen a massive away win at Chelsea a draw away at United you know, mm -hmm. it's not I mean everyone's still tipping Southampton to go down obviously but that's that's some start if you're gonna start yeah that's a great way to start Big Ash saying Fu had nice defensive Newcastle and their top four expectations but Arsenal must win the title uh, when all <laughs> of you man barely put them in Europa spots saying Big Ash with the super chat what does he mean Arsenal's run for the title is far clearer like 
them being in a tight race, the Newcastle having locked off Champions League football. Yeah. Uh, apples and oranges, mate. Like, apples if and you oranges. don't want pressure that badly, just say so. Like, tomato, tomato. You're in a race, um, mate. How can like, Jack Harrison be on score regardless. and be on DR Sports at the same time? Running from pressure. Saying Ty <laughs> Jenks. What can I say, man? Subam saying this Leeds fan needs to be a regular, like the commentary and the enthusiasm. To be fair, you are yeah, a regular these days anyway, aren't you? I this appreciate is, you. This is maybe your sixth show now on on SFS. Uh, Sixth or seventh? seventh I would say you're up there. Seventh or eighth, maybe. Where were you last Monday, GT? Andrew McNamara. None of your business. (laughs) Yeah? None of your business. No, I was was in Liverpool. Uh, Roy Hodgson is also in deep talks to become the Crystal Palace manager again. I don't agree with that. I mean, boys, can we just take a minute to to talk about this? Because (laughs) surely, surely there's other people there. That you can go back. Well, in do you think for. it was right they got sacked in the first place? I mean, that is the first question like, you need to ask. The really? first question yeah. is, I mean, this I heard a stat I mean, which is pretty harrowing. He's getting no, on. No, three, no, no, no. Three, no, no. Talking about Vieira. Vieira, yeah. To oh, sorry, Vieira. no. He, I don't think he should have. I, I thought you meant should no, Roy Hodgson have got yeah. sacked. No, no, no. The he's question he asked, yeah, seventy-five. No. Of course, he needed to get. No, uh, as in, I mean, I heard a stat which is pretty rough. They had like zero shots on target the past three games. Yeah, that's true. Which is absolutely criminal uh, in the position there. I mean, like I said, man, although they are 12th, they're five points off the drop. It is still all to play for there. Mm. And I think if you bring Roy Hodgson in, I, I, it's, it's like that Sam Allardyce when West Brom brought him in. They thought, you know, it's only so many times that you can actually keep a side up. You can keep your, your record like that. And I think if he does go over to Palace. I think messy. With, if Roy Hodgson comes back to Palace, I think... Palace potentially messed up the next two, three years because with Vieira coming in, he had a, yeah, it was a long-term project. He had a brand of football he wanted to play. He had a specific type of play he wanted to bring in. Uh, Eze, Elise, mixed with the likes of Zaha and Ayu and all these guys up front. Mateta. Now you're getting rid of him and you're bringing in Hodgson to play what brand of football? With who? It doesn't doesn't fit their style, does it? It it really doesn't. I just can't. Like the, it looked like for the first time these guys were actually identifying themselves with the manager. They actually well, they're liked young, him. And they're young players playing exciting attacking football. Exactly. And then to well, arguably exciting attacking who football when you, they haven't had the shots. Who would you guys recommend comes in then? Because <sighs> it seems like it seems like Palace at this point now. Are, the, I can understand the thinking behind mm. it, and it's a case of. You know the comfort of Roy Hodgson. Yeah. You know what he's going to kind of bring it back to basics. Similar like we say with Sam Allardyce and Sean Dyche. Sean Dyche, yeah. Because Roy Hodgson obviously isn't as fashionable, maybe he's not that. But we know the kind of safety net that I think with Palace, mm. that the board might feel comfortable with in recruiting him. But if they weren't to go that route, who would you guys kind of... I mean, there's got to be five to ten names point, out there. Yeah, there has to be. There, there, yeah. there, is, there really before, isn't. Before Roy Hodgson. Yeah, surely, exactly. Before, there has to be five to ten before Roy Hodgson. I'll you can't just, you, mate, you can't just go. There isn't because when we sacked Marsh, we were going around and we were He's getting one. rejected left, Jesse right, and Jesse Marsh, Hassan Hootle, Benitez. Uh, <laughs> Gerard Lampard, Lampard. Do you know what I mean? I mean yeah. these aren't great shouts. They're not, but, but but there's a list. But are they all but like? Pa- in my opinion, Patrick Vieira would have been if there was a list now and his name was on it. I'd say get Patrick I Vieira. Would, yeah. I would actually really like Hasenhutl. I think that's a very good Oof. shout. Having See? saved Southampton uh, before Roy Hodgson, a 75-year-old man who you can do you know say that I mean? in face. But I think every year consistently, Hasenhutl has had to lose his best players at Southampton mm. and being given players that aren't up to standards. Whether it's a Shea Adams, Armstrongs, or come and play youngsters like um, Livramento and Lavia yeah. who are going to make their first team professional debut under you. That's I'm a like, great ball. Bro, Oof. and every year he's kept them up. This year he got sacked, I felt, prematurely a little bit. Yeah. But Southampton aren't any better for it, let's be honest. Mm. So for me, I think Palace, the way he played football at Palace does kind of work in line with his. He worked with a lot of young players, developed them, showed that at RB Leipzig as well. People forget his period there. True. He really gave the skeleton for Nagelsmann to go and build his shit afterwards. Yeah. So for me, I don't know. I think Hasenhut was actually a good shout. It's that's, a good that's shout. That's probably the best one. He did play some good attacking football at the start. They were pressing very well. The underlying numbers were very impressive. But as time went on, the physicality of the Premier League, the pressure... He just couldn't deal with it. That that Southampton side were weak, man. Mm. And I'm telling you, if you want to inspire confidence in a relegation battle, do you bring in a guy that's had two 9-0 defeats in the past couple of seasons? Are you just going to base it off two defeats? I'm not basing it off that, but that that has to be taken into account, man, because for a side to crumble to 9-0... 
there has to be something seriously the wrong there. You're yeah, letting a result <coughs> overlook the fact that he saved them three years in a row from the relegation. He held on to his job for a long time. Bro, every year they were proper players, man. I think it's, it's do you? you think so? Yeah, they've since always Danny managed Ings, to rebuild good, and who, rejuvenate, the mate. They've had since Danny Ings left three or four well, years. Ah, Che Adams is is comparable. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say che that. Adams is comparable. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Che Adams. I wouldn't no say offense. that. Look, I wouldn't say no he's, he's the most lethal striker on the planet, but Bro, you know he's come he's, on, man. He'll get you ten goals. He'll get you ten fifteen. Man, are man, are hunting. Don't know, man. Because if you put if you put Danny Ings in this Southampton team right now, I don't think they're bottom bottom of the Premier League. But like listen, you, I always say every team in a relegation, you need that 10 to 12 a season goal scorer. And Southampton have not had that since Danny Ings left. And then on top of that, all the other players in and around that midfield as well have been kind of sold off. And I don't, I don't feel like he was being given the tools to progress the Southampton team as similar to like what Poch did, if you like. Yeah. When Poch was there, they were giving him players like Wanyama, Van Dijk, a mm. couple of those Lovren people forget, some European young talents. Southampton aren't getting that. They're taking gambles on academy but this kids Sayers, now. Yeah, this Sayers could be the next guy, but back to Crystal Palace. Let us yeah. know in the comments who else you think is in the mix. Dale Wilson has gone, Claudio Ranieri. But talking on Ray, uh, not Ray, Roy Hodgson, he's managed 22 different teams in eight countries. Wow. Wow. And he started managing in the 1976 season, which is truly unbelievable with Halmstads. Then he went to Bristol and a lot more um, Norwegian teams and Danish teams, including Malmo. Then he went to Switzerland, into Milan, where I believe he managed or mismanaged Roberto Carlos. I remember an interview saying <laughs> didn't he didn't get on with Roy Hodgson. I think he did with Ronaldo. Mm. With Ronaldo yeah, in 98? Yeah. I'm not too sure. Um, he for a cup there. Uh, Blackburn into Milan he went back there uh, for a year two years after he went Grasshoppers Copenhagen Udinese I didn't even know he managed there the wow. UAE he managed mm -hmm. the UAE for hey, two years boy, boy. Yeah, he's been uh, he managed boy, Vikings boy, boy. Finland this guy's been <laughs> catching he's been National around the block from uh, Finland Fulham obviously had the best spell in Fulham's history I'd say Europa um, League final getting to that Europa League final uh, Liverpool as we know West Brom England Crystal Palace and then Watford so I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I just think this is the wrong way to go about I it. He's obviously got a great relationship with Steve it? Parrish. Um, I agree. I just feel like there's more names out there, surely. Yep. I, I totally surely. agree. They have, surely. You have to have at least a, a short list of five names you can look at and go, okay, let's contact this guy or this guy. Let's have some talks. Let's see if, surely. if he's willing to come guy? and Who's take over. Yeah, he's, exactly. You don't want to... Sean Dyche. For God's sake, man. Let, just leave the guy in retirement, man. He's, he's enjoying his life. Enjoying his up, money. Boy. You don't do need the stress. You don't need to do that. You don't. Turning up to training every day. It's <laughs> pissing rain. Chill, bro. Get a, go you back to... Palace going back to Hodgson. West Ham running back with Red Knapp. Oh God! To bring back the old boys. Come on, lads! I got uh, one more with me. Back to basics. <laughs> Every time I try to leave, they just keep pulling me back in. <laughs> oh my God! You know, there's no. actually rumours of Redknapp coming back. Like when we were looking for a manager, there was talks about, yeah, I'm gonna come out of retirement to manage Leeds. Conte wants to Give it red nap till the end of the season, eh? <laughs> no, yeah. If I ever see red nap in a dugout ever again. Then Don't disrespect Redders, bruv. That's an old as you right said there. before, then this league will well and truly be scripted. Oh, oh yeah. Well, no, I can't believe it. Let's have a name each then. Who do we want to be the next Crystal Palace manager? Oof. Just before we get into our own choices in the comments to give you a bit more inspiration, Nuno Espirito saying Avic. Um, Blaise Cambure, current coach of Nantes. Uh, might as well get Alan Kerbishley, says Perry Francis. Ange Postejog. Koglu, the um, Celtic manager, Slavan yeah. Bilic, Ian Dowie saying Yusuf, Alan Pardew. These are a bit, um, yeah, not really up there anymore. Mark Hughes, Ralph Hassanato, <laughs> Gerard Potter, Lampard, Big Sam, Zidane, Will Still, and uh, Samuel, Samuel Allardyce uh, saying, was lost but now I'm found. Um, a name each, Crystal Palace manager. Who Try and put your Crystal Palace hat on. Imagine you were their fan. Who do you want to see come in, lay down a long-term vision, really set a stall out and, and build Palace up to what they should be, which in my opinion is a mid-table team. Yeah. I'm actually thinking about what Fuad said and I'm going to go for Hasenhüttl. Mm. I think that's, that, that would not be a bad a choice. a choice. Yeah. I think I'd go for him. The Scandi Klopp. Where is Lucien Favre these days? He doesn't have a job. He's recently been sacked from Nice. And he is someone I would look at. I think I would like the projects he built. That's yeah. not, that's not with a bad Gladbach, shout. Back with Nice, every club he's built, he's been to. He's built that culture of young players who yeah. are thriving, Dortmund growing. As well. Dortmund as well. I always think 
he is one of those coaches who, if, if you're one of these hipsters who wants to play the right way, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Palace are, don't really have ambitions of Europe. And, uh, Ted Lasso if you want team, in the comments. If, if you want the fans to just enjoy the game again, I think he's a good shot. I see people saying Marcelo Gallardo. Listen, keep your hands off, bruv. Mm. No, no, he's see. ours, mate. We're going to come Is he um, Valencia's summer, manager? Summertime, we're coming for you, boy. I don't know about that, mate. You're going to be know. riddled with Conte, Leeds. mate. Leeds. You're riddled with Conte, <laughs> mate. Gallardo's the next guy in line, mate. So name from you, you're going with? Lucien Favre. Lucien Favre. Who've you got? Well, I see. I, 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 I like the Lucien Favre shout, but it seems more of a summertime acquisition for me. Someone bring him in when you're already safe to build. For me, I think you need someone that's gonna get your results now. Who's done it before in the Premier League? Rafael Benitez. You're going for Rafael Rafa Benitez? Yeah. Ooh, I know he had a shaky spell at Everton, Good. and that kind of put me off, like taking him at Leeds. Wow. For, but. I did not expect that from you. I respect, nah, it. I respect well, it, it. In the position they're in, they need Ooh. results. Ooh. Chance for Tottenham. Uh, just Back under 20 minutes in, still nil nil, and still nil nil everywhere it's else. By the way. What about um, you? Oh, it's a really Going tough for one, man. Boy. I won't. I won't say Stevie. I do think that would be a great job for Gerard to get, considering how badly Villa went. Though I think he'd be lucky to get that job. Yeah. yeah. Mm, and if he lucky. did get it, maybe that is the job that sets him up again. I don't think it's realistic. Nah. Yeah. Oh, I can't pick, man. Let me have a proper think about this. I was uh, there was a part of me that wanted to say Chabi Alonso, but he's in the quarter final of the, oh, Europa, League the Europa League yeah. with Leverkusen. Yeah, let oh, him man. build. Let him build. And I think that it'd be, it'd be a bit too early We don't need well. Premier League guys year, on him. Year or two. Yeah. Nah. Uh, you're a young manager. Sit on that fence. Sit on the away from the Premier League if you're a young manager. Let him do something in the in the Bundesliga first. Let him build. Do you know what I mean? Let him get used to managing. I want him after Leverkusen. Go Sociedad. Let me Go think about two, where years. they want to be competing. Let's say 8 to 10th. Is that a little bit too Crystal hard? Palace? Let's say 10 to 12. That's, that's Palace at their peak. peak I'd peak. probably 10 say to 10 to 12. Yeah. So let me try and match that to a manager that I know. Someone just said Chris Hutton in the comments. He's obviously with Ghana. But is there time for him maybe to do Chris both Houston. for a bit? Chris well, Hughes. I know mean, so you guys maybe are looking do, at it all maybe wrong do with both? this 8 to 12 thing. Look at where they are now, 12th to 20th. There's a big chance they yeah, get relegated. I would just say up to 9th. Big chance anyway. they go down into the championship, man. Uh, I might go Hassan Hootl. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I might go Hassan There you go. Bro. I might go Hassan. Nuno. Too defensive. Nah, too, too defensive. Yeah, too too defensive at this Scotty season. Parker, no chance. Nah, he just got sacked from no Bruges. From Club Club Bruges. Hell, no. Yeah, I see someone say Ian. He's Wright. had a howler of year. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Pep Linders, uh, Avic. Hey, listen, if you give me shot. the job, I'll send you my football manager part I did two years ago, brother. It's all on my Twitter. <laughs> you and Will still, yeah? Bro, I'm telling <laughs> the you. Next what about Will still? still? No, no, no. He ain't oh, even got his qualifications easy. yet, man. If, if Will still can get it, I can get it. If we can get it <laughs> up mean, on FMCVs, listen, I'll send mine and let me know that. Palace Steve are willing Parrish, to pay the fine every, every, every they game. Would, they Steve would, Parrish. but they wouldn't be able yeah. to get him. At the, they wouldn't be able to get Imagine him. Imagine if Fuad, he doesn't turn up to a DR. I'm sure I even added him on Twitter, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> 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 Yo, just I actually think my FM file was so good. I think. Wait, yo, just t- just tell CEO Palace. Oh, four tag, isn't it? If you, if you're in talks with Palace, just tell them, yo. If you listen, oh if you're willing God. to pay, <laughs> if you're willing to pay my fine. <laughs> what does that say? <laughs> after this was after they sacked Hodgson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I said I knew winning the title the other day would speed up the process. Finally, my day has come. Below are my achievements to date <laughs> with, <laughs> with Palace CEO. <laughs> back to back Champions League qualification. Back to back Champions Not League. Not bad, mate. Two Big Carabao Cups. Hey, PL listen. champions. Ah. Premier League champions Get in 23-24. Yeah. Okay. Could be Will Stills' listen. assistant. Expanded the stadium. Maybe. Improved the youth academy and youth things take. And the club is operating on a profit. Oh, you got, you got the back end as well. 360 scope. Yo. Yeah. Listen, Steve Parrish, if you're watching this, the R Sports clips, you know what to do. I've got a shout. Tapes. Michael listen. Carrick. Nah, too yeah, soon. Too soon. That, that's more of a yeah. whisper. He's doing yeah, great things with Middlesbrough, though. Got to shout him out. He's doing bits over there. But... Let him come up to the Premier League first. Let him, let's see what he does there. Yeah. And then... Well, it's definitely uh, given you guys a lot of um, thoughts and, and ideas in the chat. Thanks for sending in all of these names. Who will be the next Crystal Palace manager? Will it be Roy Hodgson again? Or will they go uh, a little bit more creative and, and try and give it to someone who's a little bit um, further back in their career? With all due respect, Dan Roy Hodgson. 
Bielsa. Oh, no, the scary thing is he wants to come back into management in the Premier Bielsa. League. Oh, is it? He See, said he wants to come back to the to Premier League next season. Were you season. not in talks with him when you no, sat No, Marsh? no, he no. He won't come back to Leeds. The way we did him, we did him wrong, man. Yeah. I can't believe we... How can you sack a man that did that for your club? Yeah. He gave you so much. He made you believe. He finally showed you attractive football. He brought you to the promised land. And he gets injuries. He gets a bit of a rough spell of form. And then you sack him. You kick him in the Had teeth, you some spit big on his face. Well, didn't but he said he wants to come back to the Premier League next season, which oh. is why I said, man, with the Roy Hodgson or the Benitez thing, I think you're looking at someone for Palace that comes in in the interim, keeps them up, and then you get someone else in in the summer. Yeah, to but, start from scratch. And then Bielsa could be an option, but I, I hope he doesn't. because. Yeah, yeah, could be an option. Could well be an option. By the way, in the championship, Middlesbrough, one up against Preston, Tuba App. Uh, Akpom again he's been on fire this yeah, guy is fire. lighting up the championship 22 minutes in Preston have actually had yes, the most is. clean sheets in the championship this season so uh, Michael Carrick's borough on the rise and we were just oh, talking man. about him then um, cool. chance here for Tottenham 23 Back minutes balls. in Harry Kane can he look uh, up and find slow, his man it's very man. slow it's very yeah, slow in labour very slow uh, still nil nil in that one halfway through the first half we're still nil nil Brentford Leicester the only goals that we've seen are Leeds away Jack Harrison and of course uh, Douglas Luiz at home for Aston Villa um, to be honest I don't know how we're still 1-0 with... up because we are getting peppered more than Sam right now our goal is getting reamed out which is bad <laughs> I didn't get that one uh, yeah what's that one peppered more than Sam Sam Pepper who's that who you don't know who Sam Pepper is Nope. The guy was like one of the first YouTubers ever, did those, those sketchy pranks, pretended to kill his best mate, all no, that stuff. No, no. Isn't that Jake Paul? No, Jake no. Paul's a lovely guy. Different character, mate. Jake Paul's just a, a world-class athlete is what he is. For today, eh? Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Let's touch <laughs> on the Champions <laughs> League draw. <laughs> we do with some old guys here, like, hey, some old what's old talking about, man? <laughs> <laughs> um... Why is no one talking about Luis Enrique? So underrated, saying jack of all trades. Palace. I don't, I don't Palace? think he'd go nah. to Palace. No. Nah. Um, he, he wouldn't man. stoop that low. Big yeah. up man to you for the super chat, though. Man went from Barca to Spain to <laughs> Palace. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. What kind of career did career you went from Catalonia to Corridor. <gasps> Can you get it? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, ironically, Pedro Palace Poro. should probably pay Bro, more the guy's money than tech. Barca did. So. Pedro Porro left for volley over the bar Shh, 25 minutes in. Um, right, let's go to the Champions League draw. Real Madrid Ooh. versus Chelsea, Inter versus Benfica, City no, versus talking. Bayern Munchen yes, and Julio. Milan versus Napoli. Um, so that means that either Inter, Benfica, Milan or Napoli yeah. will be in the final. I love this. Champions League. I love this. Um, what are your reactions to uh, the draw? Obviously, Real Madrid, Chelsea, City, Bayern, huge, huge ties those. But who do you think are the favourites now, considering how the draw is going to work out on both sides? I said a couple of weeks ago before the knockouts even started, I said I, I can see Napoli making a weird run to the final. I said I don't know what it is. Yeah. They're... I said, if you look at their team, they've got a goal scorer who's in form, one of the best in Europe at the moment. They've mm. got Kvisha, who's that kind of X-factor player who can give you something out of nothing. The rest of their midfield, you look Anguisa, yeah. Botka. They're all playing out of their skins. The defence looks pretty solid. And then on top of that, you've got a, a coach who I think is tactically flexible, which is what you need in these kind of Champions League almost tactical duels, if you like, especially over two legs where away goals don't matter anymore. So I think they've got <coughs> all the ingredients. And I look at the Champions League landscape, and I was like, I don't think any of those even big sides have really grabbed it by the scruff of the neck this mm. year. And apart from maybe Bayern Munich, you would say, are really kind of the informed team in the Champions League. Mm. Just knocked out PSG. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I say outside of that, no one's really looked like the dominant team in Europe this year. So I've said I could see Napoli making a run. Having seen the draw now, it actually gives them a favourable run as well. So mm, really from that side run. of the draw, I think they will wash Milan comfortably as well. And then into Benfica, they will wash comfortably as well. It's in the final. I think they will play City. Ooh. I think it will be a sky blue Damn. final. Ooh. Napoli versus City. And then you know what? Whoever wins it, wins it. If Pep gets it and delivers finally, fares. I knew delivers finally. He had to sprinkle that one hey, in there. Hey. Finally. No, it's you don't have to talk nice to Pep now, you know. <laughs> hey, if he listen, wins it, yes, of course. I'm telling you, people Julia are, bra people are bragging about it. Hey, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm seeing Conte today bragging <laughs> about seeing Julia Roberts. Oh, <laughs> Ten Hag talk about, yeah, yeah, she was in Manchester as well. You lot are going to pay for these comments, I'm telling you. <laughs> They're putting charges on Pep. Pep is cooking something this season. Whether it's the title comeback or whether it's the Champions League, I don't know. If Napoli no, get the Champions League and he gets the title, 
That's a just world, in my opinion. No, it's the That's champion. Just what, world. Napoli to do the double would be crazy. Hey, fathomable, mate. For Diego. For Diego as well. For Diego. Oh, yeah. The, the yeah. season, the Diego, season yeah. they Argentina changed. Argentina win the World Cup. Serie A finally comes home since the last time he won. And the Champions League, something they never won. He delivered them the UEFA Cup. Mm -hmm. Kvisha said, Kvaradona, they call him. We're going to go one step up. Kvaradona. That storyline that story would actually be mad. The same Aye. season they changed the name of their stadium to, to, Diego, Maradona. to Diego Maradona. Aye. They win the Champions Aye. League. And this, that would be crazy. You know I'm a man that loves football narratives. <laughs> that, for me, is <laughs> the best narrative this yeah. season. It must happen. Yeah. It must let us know nah, in the comments I, who wins this it's, one. It's City easy for me. City to easy. To win the whole thing? Yeah, man. I mean, you can't underestimate what they did to Leipzig, man. I mean, Haaland on this Five level goals. of form. Unbelievable. Yeah, come on, man. I, 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 I think it's their time, man. I think Pep probably has a couple seasons left at City. I don't see him being there much longer than that. And for him to come through, spend all that money, do everything that he's done, turn them into arguably one of the most beautiful attacking sides the world has ever seen ever for them to not win that final little icing on the top i i think uh i just don't see it happening mate i think football the way things work the way they've played it's only a matter of time before they finally get their luck and they've been missing that one final piece of a jigsaw and harland the way he can turn it on in games like that in the big games uh, that they've got coming up I think he's too good, man. Be, and I think uh, he will claim himself over Mbappe. There you go. We'll see who the wins the Champions Mbappe, League. It's a big thing, man. Mbappe got the World Cup. Haaland gets the UCL. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think you, you can't. It, it, right, the storyline writes hear itself. That. I can the the storyline's writing itself. Then. But that, for me, the problem is that storyline is almost too easy. It's yeah. Like at the start of the season, you could have said, yeah, City sign Haaland, the final thing to win them the Champions League, and they finally delivered the Champions League. I need them to face a bit more adversity. Do you know adversity what? Adversity with Haaland. Yeah, but you don't face adversity when you've got a billion in the bank. <laughs> I can, I can see. Unfortunately, that's the way the world works. I can, I can see Bayern Munich doing something this season. Not because they're good, but mm -hmm. because of the quality they have on the bench and on the pitch. Yeah. When you have that, it really helps. Against PSG, I was watching a game and at one point they brought off Sane off the bench, Mane off the bench, Gnabry off the bench. And I'm like, are you serious? Nuts. Imagine if they played City and they just got them free on the bench and it gets tricky. And Nagelsmann just goes, yeah, you free, warm up, please. And then he brings them on and they all make the difference. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And it could be Jao Cancelo going back to haunt his uh, parent mm -hmm. club. Then right again, now it, could, well. it could be Sane haunting City. Could be Sane. Mane so, could go back could, and do something as well. Do you know what I mean? So um, I think that the weapons that Nagelsmann has such a big test for City, that is. That's, that's, that's a game huge test. That, one. Yeah. that is all eyes will be on biggest that game. Get, I like yeah. that is probably if you're talking about two of the most exciting teams in world football to put together into a game right now be yep. right just there. because as you said pure squad depth and quality over such a big game like that goes into extra time yeah Man, and also in that game there's that another storyline pep in the champions league has never been able to defeat his former clubs when he went to Bayern, yeah. he never managed to defeat Barca. Didn't think about Got dumped that, in the semis, yeah, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And always dumped in the semis. Mm. Always dumped in the semis. I remember that. So now he's at City. What, what Let's see if he's going to do go out to Bayern Munich here. Oh, huge question marks. Really? Yeah, huge huge league, question man. marks. Yes, yeah, you can focus on the league because after this. But how yeah, many years is, have we but said? How oh, many, they'll exactly. win it next year, they'll win it next the, year, they'll win it next year. The issue City have is seven? a bit like PSG, where it's been they've seven years. spent... Yeah. Six, six, seven years we've been saying this. Yeah, but they've spent so much money. It's like PSG. No one will ever give them almost that validity till they win the Champions yeah. yep. League. Which exactly. Is, which is the right, Champions League, though, say. is almost like the one trophy that I've always said, you, no matter how much money you spend, you can't buy it. Yeah, no. it, and with Pep, you need that hint of luck that you just don't know if you're going to get the luck of the draw. You need to have, I don't know, there's so many things that need to go your way in the Champions League. I feel like, I mean, that season Chelsea won it, prime example. Mm -hmm. Go for Brentford. Expected? Yeah, 1 0. Oh, Matthias yes. Jensen. Oh, oh. Yes. oh this Mateus is popping Jensen off today. With the mm. goal for the Bees against Leicester. Massive That's goal cool. that for you Brentford. You could say they've stung Leicester. They have, they've stung yeah. the Foxes. The Foxes. And I think as well, yeah, yeah. everyone's well, looking at Pep as well, thinking, can you win it without Messi? That's mm. what everyone's looking at. Can you Can win it without as well? Two words for you. No one's even mentioned Real Madrid. I was just about. You could, to yeah, you can't count these guys. I was going to say the Kings. When Chelsea went on that unexpected, the Kings. When Chelsea went on yeah. that unexpected run, though, Real Madrid was the team they played in the semi-final, and I remember everyone thought, "Hmm, the heritage is going to get to them," especially because that Chelsea side was so inexperienced. Mm -hmm. Had Thomas Tuchel just walked in, yeah, and then Engolo Kante put on one of the most classic. 
I would say single-handed runs in that campaign, in my opinion. Unbelievable. A player of the tournament. Uh, unbelievable. And he's obviously, he's been out injured this season. Now they're playing him again. Can they pull him out of the cryogenic chamber? You know, you know, yeah, Dragon Ball right. win. <laughs> I know Kante's in there somewhere. But I'm telling you, if they pull him out and he can deliver anything close to what they delivered, mm. that's what they'll need. Because that, for me, is, is a big clash. And I don't know. But that's the danger I, with Real Madrid. Do, do though, you lot completely discount Chelsea with the state that they're in, knowing Madrid's heritage? No, no, I, no. Don't, I would never discount Not Chelsea completely. in Europe. But if you're talking about heritage and the way they've done it, two Champions Leagues in the past decade, mm-hmm. I, I can't count them out. And, and Real Madrid, do I see them doing it again? I mean, look, let's be real. Yeah, they won it last year. First of all, their perennial whipping boys are now out of the tournament, so Cheers, that's mate. one easy game that they can't have. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, they boom, were. Boom. I mean, he's not wrong. They were minutes the away. Respect is there, though. Minutes away from getting knocked out against City to turn it around like that. I mean, it was Tottenham esque the way you guys managed to wrangle your way through to that final. Oh, I think Chelsea could be a big stumbling block. Do I think that? Can they do it over two do legs? They, will though? they go all the way? I don't, I don't think, think Chelsea will go all the way. Chelsea won't go all the this way. This is a step too much for them, I would I say. I don't think it's a step too much, but if you're talking about going <laughs> through to the final, past a City or a Bayern, no. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing. If you look at the one Chelsea one. seasons, the seasons they won the Champions League. I'm they've, just, they've always had a bad season in the league, haven't this, they? Don't we, yeah. Di Matteo, who the hell expected that? That can't work. The Lampard experiment guys. failing. <laughs> to show. Hey, maybe yeah, Chelsea's might, method you never of winning has always been chaos. Yeah. It's so always been chaos. You know, we're going to have our worst in. season of the year, but guess what? We're going to leave with an FA Cup and the UEFA Cup. <laughs> we're leaving with something. We're, we're leaving with something. That's Chelsea in a nutshell. I swear to you. So for me, I'm like, I don't know. This game, I'm not discounting them out because I feel like the last couple of weeks not the Potter era has begun but it's beginning <laughs> is all I'll say Madrid this heritage thing has to run out it's at rid- some it's point ridiculous. there has to be Bro. the year where well, we heritage finally doesn't run out I've been hoping that Modric, would happen Benzema, for the last five years. we have to look at them and say ah you're washed! <laughs> we but finally not, see though. it! It's not. Because they keep defeating time, bro. Even Modric, last round. Yeah, but round, then you've got Camavinga was... coming through the ranks. You've I was got literally just going to coming yeah, through the you ranks, mate. You know what? Mate. You know what? <laughs> so as the old come out, the new you know what? what And the uh, what's it called? Chouamini just came back from injury, so yeah, he's yeah, a potential Alvaro's option. Alvaro's the next. Do you see what I mean? It's, it's just the heritage is too... Is, it runs too well, deep. It's, and, it's in their blood. Yeah, the, the heritage is uh, is too strong, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, I think you can't count out Real Madrid, man. These guys will find a way to just turn the game around stat, right? somehow. Uh, from a Liverpool perspective, teams that have knocked us out of the Champions League since 2018. 2018, we lost the final to Real Madrid. 2019, we won the Champions League in Madrid. 2020, we went out to Atletico Madrid. 2021... We go out to Real Madrid. 2022, we go out to Real Madrid in the final. And 2023, we go out to Real Madrid. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fantastic. Like, that is crazy. Four out of the last <laughs> seven years, we've been knocked out by Real Madrid. Mm. Wow. So we could just, out heritage. You know, Infantino, if Oof. you're watching, mate, just stop that now. We've had enough of that. <laughs> all right. Um, I don't want to play them anymore, please. Oh, well, we might not even get the chance to if we don't qualify. Anyway, it's not about Liverpool. Um, let us know then. Winners of the Champions League. Aaron, let's go. Real Madrid. <sighs> wow. Por la quince. Por la quince. Wow. Mm. Confidence. Mm. I mean, it's not the worst thing to, to be beaten by a team that goes on to win it. So... I just don't think you can rule them out. You They're just like, can't. And as long die, as you... You know, in the mm. films, they shoot them out. <laughs> so why wouldn't you die? Jason Voorhees. And as long as you can't rule them out... And you should have killed me when you had the chair. And then exactly. they shoot you. Yeah. I'm going to say Madrid, oh, man. Conor Conor you just West. can't rule them out. And as long as you can't do that... They're always going to be around. Oh, I don't want to say it again. Of course you can't write them off, but again. you can write them off. Come on. This is their trophy. Even though the first six that they won in the 50s under the Franco dictatorship should never have oh. really happened. And there was only six teams ben in Ben Davis it well. injury, Perisic coming on. Anyway, that's, that's, a, that's a different now. story. That's a different Richardson story. Richarlison and Davis. Yeah, yeah bro. We, we only got one sub. We only got one sub left now. We have to make Sam a triple Hampton, change. Southampton, uh, Benderick just went off yeah, as well. Injured. Maitland, no. So we both got one sub left. So Real Madrid. Yes, Real Madrid. 
Real Madrid, it's really? Just, Come on, look how old they can't know, do it again, they, man. They can. That's what well, we said last that's season. Exactly. That's what we said last exactly. season. <laughs> They're old. Look at, I, look at Benzema. No, I'm bored of it, man. It's like left, when Man U were just winning the league left, no, right, listen, and centre. Listen, listen let me tell you this. I'm, I'm bored of it. Last if anyone's season, bored of it, trust me. I, I <laughs> should have two yeah, more yeah, champions. The reason, the reason why I'm saying the reason why I'm saying Real Madrid is because before they played Chelsea last season, I said, Nah, you know what? Benzema's getting old, you know. Boom, hat trick. Sharp. Oh. Sharp, the- Aaron. Hold on. Ramadan Benz as well. Listen! Oh. It's over. Mi- it's nah. over. Nah. Forget about <laughs> it. Madrid, then, yeah. This is what I'm Madrid saying. No. This is what I'm saying. Okay, but did you see Ramadan what Chelsey Rudiger did as well? Hey, year? listen. Ramadan Benz. Like, hey. Hey. Bro, it's Ramadan true. Benz, if you it's know, true. you know, it's a true Ramadan last year when he what scored about, like 10 goals in the from outside the box. Yeah. Yeah. That ended Mendy's career. Yeah. We ain't seen Mendy since. So Real Madrid, that, but what you weren't going to say that before he said that. No, no, right? so I'm go- no, no, no. I'm Napoli. saying they're going to beat Chelsea in the next round. I'm going Napoli. Yeah, to I'm win. sticking with Napoli to oh. win. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Diego. If they played Madrid in the final, could they? For beat Diego. In the final? I don't. I don't think anyone course, beats Madrid uh, in, the anyone in the final. In the final, like, not Madrid wins. Anyone's yeah. game. You, you in the final. Do not lose finals. Ooh. It's not anyone's game. It Trust me. A final. <laughs> Trust me. You're Liverpool. Trust him. Trust him. Trust me. Trust me. Trust him. Always, he knows. You always catch we were two games them, away from the quadruple, Bruh. and they still beat you us. Th- that's you. All right, Napoli. Yeah, that's you, yeah. that's Napoli. Oh, blood. Napoli. Napoli. Diego. Diego. It's saying Liverpool. It's saying no. Calm down, everyone. The ghost of Diego. Yeah. Real Madrid. Napoli. Yeah. Man, Man City. Ooh. Ooh. Man City. Going for the title, I so. hate to say this, and Raul, you waste, man. I'm doing the Classico tomorrow night with Raul and, and Nico on DR Sports, by the way. I'm going to give him another one. I think they're going to do it again, and it pains me. It's horrible to say. No, 15th man. Champions League title. Come Not against on. Chelsea, man. Chelsea when will have you that die? little thing over them. By the way, stop it. Let me know. Let me know. Let me, let me know, know in the comments, trouble. though. Um, you know who will it the be? first the Champions League's in the fifties. Yeah, mm-hmm. how many teams were in those? Euro- six. Euro- Interesting. And, that, and they packed up six in that era. Hmm. So yeah, a lot of credit. But again, I, like I said, different story. I would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would like a review time of day on those. As well, actually, probably to discuss that on a, a bit. Of a bro, bro, to call. That's a friendly <laughs> tournament, brother. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> You ain't playing best teams in Europe. That's a fr- <laughs> six man invited. Six the- teams. Come on. That's like a preseason Come tournament. Come on. You know the preseason tournaments like, in the states. Yeah, like, yeah, we yeah, said, them, yeah. You them talk thing about there. they're trying to put an asterisk on your titles because of COVID or whatever. No, there needs to be real asterisks on those Champions Leagues. Hey, There's nothing wrong with outside winning outside outfield COVID. Because it's Real Madrid, we're not allowed to question heritage. I get it as well. When you look at those players that were in those teams, greatness personified, they were the best. Do you know why I say this as well? But. It was only six teams. You yeah. have to say, listen, outside, you um, it wasn't the whole of Europe. You can't call it the Anfield, European Cup. <laughs> when we played them and lost 5 2, goal were outside and they said, give us an unpopular football opinion. And I said, the first six trophies that Real Madrid have got in the Champions League should be wiped mm. away. And then the comments, I could see people like, you know what? He's got a point. You know? <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> saying, Franco this, Franco that. There you go. I mean, let's um, not forget their history of how. I mean, look, then, this whole then, football heritage thing, how did they build the heritage? Is by having that, more money than everyone else, by That's getting they, backhanded no, 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 no. money from from questionable sources, which they shouldn't have been getting money from, which was kind of unfair to the rest of the league. So if you actually look at how Real Madrid built their lineage, built their dominance, I mean, it is no, a bit all, sketchy. Mental, and, and you're it's talking about mental. them coming through I because of their heritage. Yeah. They dominated, they dominated, they dominated drowning, in man. that 50s era. The it's more money that comes into the Premier League... The less the less dominance they're going to have. I know they're still kind of kicking and they're what? streaming. They still do it. They're still doing it, no, 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 but he's got an expiration date on it. That milk, I don't know how it's still not gone lumpy yet. I know, I don't but know how it's, it's still, still not kicking. lumpy, bro. It's still trust that me. That must Stop be some condensed it. milk for it to have not gone off yet. But give it a few. Why freezer. do you think they they're crying for the Super League so much? Their financials are screaming right now. I don't think it's a pure money thing because if if we had to base it off that solely, then we could say. Why didn't they win the Champions League with all the superstars they had? The Galacticos. Yeah. If, yeah, if no, it was no, all I'm about money. How you build it in the first place. How did they get themselves well, they to be at that They still did win a couple, league. though. No. In 99 and That was pre That was pre Galacticos. They, they, they didn't was, win Galacticos nothing. Galacticos zero was when Zidane signed. Z- Zidane when, Beckham. Well, Zidane, Zidane, Zidane won the old one. one. After all two. one. After all two. Round one, one. Cassias won one. Yeah. R9, Beckham. They all missed out. Yeah, because they got rid of Makalele, who was the missing piece of the jigsaw. The link. Number 24 he was. This is why you need... Yeah, you can't just splash money like PSG do. You need some sort of base in the team, yeah, but... No, listen, Real Madrid rightfully have a... Like a European heritage, yeah, but I do course, think but. that 
that ghost of the 60s almost makes people think oh that's yeah yeah, yeah. Like, that's <laughs> where their heritage stems from so everyone's and they've been pumping that so much oh, Madrid, do so much of that pumping the branding and yeah. we're we all like you know fear into it and then obviously what they've done over the last 10 12 years has almost confirmed it yeah, yeah. Is what i feel like and now we're almost just like you know what i you, you are the best yeah. but those first six i would no, like yeah, before really 1998 madrid had a big drought in the european cup but they did want it in win it in 98 2000 and 2002 but mm -hmm. you're right that galacticos beckham ronaldo uh era what? they didn't win it they won it in 98 that was the miatovic one one nil yeah 2000 uh, was the zidane Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no 2000, 2000 was Raul. 2000, 2000 was Raul. That was 2002. 2002, 2002, 2002 Leverkusen. Yeah. yeah. Zidane Volley. Okay. Yeah. Um, the 2000, 2000, 2000 was Raul rounded the keeper. And Morientes. Yes. Morientes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Raul Morientes won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Against yeah. Valencia. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Got Knowledge. We got to Valencia getting to that one, innit? Yo, Valencia got to, did, I think, Leeds during that period, they got to two about. finals because they lost the final in 2001 to Bayern. Damn, on penalties. Back to back final losses. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Do you know who had the worst year that year? Michael Ballack. Lost the Champions he League final. He is the most the unlucky final. player yeah. I have lost ever seen. In, in one, in a space of two weeks, he lost the league, the cup, and the Champions League final. And you know, like the league on the final day, on the like <laughs> it was. Go if you ever go, that got time on YouTube. Go, go watch. Yeah. That, Just that before we get into the other cha um, massive European uh, draw yesterday, there's been a goal at Reading. Andy Carroll is uh, putting up a wow. few goals this season for Reading. Jeez. It's one all against Hull. Andy Carroll, 44th minute, uh, the number two for Reading Still this balling. season. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> Barnet uh, are playing Notts County today. Notts County through Macaulay Langstaff have just gone one. No, he just scored against Barnet. The second oh. uh, half, Barnet uh, and Notts You've County should both me. really be in League Two. That's kind of a League Two fixture yeah. rather than a oh, Vanarama Conference League. Notts County fixture pushing really. for that promotion as well. Yeah, Notts County, oh, oldest Langs football club in the world. Long lost brother. Langstaff, actually. Um, yeah, we are a couple of minutes away from half time at St. Mary's. How have Tottenham got off? Uh, uh, how have Tottenham got on in this They've been throwing well a couple of Hail Marys at it, but unfortunately, nothing's landed as yet. Cheers. Good, good one. <laughs> <laughs> no goals, though. Nah, no goals, to be fair. Yeah. Um, had a few half chances. Uh, Pedro Porro, uh, Dyer, header as well was kind of the closest we got. But Southampton, to be fair to them, at home have done pretty well to keep us at bay and had some chances themselves as well. Are they doing well? Or not a lot in it. Oh. Creative. Boom! Oh, Just as yeah. we talk. Boom! Oh, 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 this Pedro oh. Porro. That's Woo. what I need, yeah. Pedro Porro puts Tottenham 1-0 up. Away at St. Mary's, just as we were yeah. talking about the fact that there had From been no goals. From stealing makes misses to stealing points. I did will actually, love it. Did he actually do that? Who? Yeah, he stole Felix's misses. I thought that was a joke. No. Everyone You're going to listen to this guy, man. Of this course guy, he did, this guy mate. reads rumours off Twitter. And, and <laughs> I didn't read rumours. I was there. Me and Fabrizio you were, were there, there right in the article. Well, no, I wasn't there. Right. <laughs> I wasn't there. It was, we were in the restaurant. I was having a nice steak, dinner, you know, and then what do I see over the other side of the table? My boy Jarrell's getting his bird nicked. I, I couldn't believe my eyes, you know. In the restaurant? Wait, this, this is a lie or this is the truth? No, this is the truth. Yeah, me and Jao. Me and... Uh, Right. We used to, we used to you think he hangs out with Jarrah? <laughs> Absolute rubbish. Uh, but what a time to score for Tottenham. Right before one nil up, time, man. away at Southampton. I would say the two well. best times yep. to score, right after half time or right before half time. Or the worst Boom. time to concede. And Let's why see the finish. See, oh. Do you see that type of oh, oh, goodness. See what you lot aren't reading. It's the roof finish. Talk about over it's the run. It's not just the finish. Because ask yourselves, how many times this season did we see Emerson Royale make that run in that position? with that finish you don't see those things yeah. that is what quality buys you and i hope he stays i'm sorry team. but why that seemed like such an easier finish than he made it he could have just slotted it in the corner and he's just okay. he's i think he a load of this guy huh <laughs> In that Look position. at his It's a beautiful finish. That's a hammer. It made, yeah, it's a tight it angle. It a bit harder for himself. I, mean. I don't think Pedro so. Power. I don't think because it's a very tight angle. If you try and pick a corner, no. the goalkeeper's <laughs> most likely going to save <laughs> it. Yeah, least, you almost yeah. have to roof it there. No, I don't know. Look, I, I think he can go across goal here. He across? I thought he, no. I thought he no. was no. going to go across goal. Yeah. I actually thought he was. I mean, it's a, a I tell you what, what orgasmic a ball. finish. What a ball from Son. Yeah, he just roofed that one. that truer than Jordi. 
questionable. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but the number Bang. 23 for Ooh. Tottenham, Pedro Porro gets Obvious. his first goal in the Premier League for his new team, Who the Portuguese right back. It was Son. 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 Great assist from him. It's now half time at Villa Park. Aston Villa 1, Bournemouth 0, Brentford 1, Leicester 0. Not good reading if you're a Foxes fan. Wolves 0, Leeds 1 is still the score at the Molyneux Stadium, whereas Southampton are now obviously behind at home to Tottenham. Mate, um, if, if we call full time on all these results, I am chilling, mate. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take I'm that. Up there. Um, let's go back to Europe then. The Europa League draw, uh, Manchester United versus Sevilla. Just as um, they leave the city of Seville to come back to Manchester, they get another tie out there in Andalusia. Uh, obviously, just on the back Wait, of playing. In that first round, they well, did. Three mm -hmm. Spanish teams in a row. And, and Barca. You know what? At, at this point, oh, yeah. at this point well. give us the Spanish national team as well. Hey, <laughs> I mean, yo. Man United versus what's that, Sevilla. What's that meme of the ghost Massive. knocking on all the doors. <laughs> Every Spanish team just getting yeah. their door knocked on. Yeah, you might hey, as well. Yo. At least there's one English side that can defeat Spanish teams in Europe, so Oof. not all bad. Eh? Oh, yo. Unless you're in the Champions League, you can't really chat to me, well, you know no, what I mean, as a Leeds fan. Sorry, kind of a low blow. Uh, listen, oh. six times winners, relax yourself. But Sevilla, <laughs> big time name in this competition. It's almost their tournament, isn't it, this one? Um, so can they add to their six, is it now? Six? Europe I don't know. Yeah. Too many. I stopped counting. Europa Leagues. Uh, Juventus versus Sporting. That is a good game. That's a very interesting tie. Mm -hmm. uh, Juventus just after beating Freiburg are now through to the team that have just knocked out Arsenal. So it could have been a Juventus Arsenal tie, which again yeah, would have um, would have been nice. Had a uh, saw watering at the mouth that one. Um, oh, Shabilons. Not foaming, that's a bit weird. Um, Leverkusen uh, play fellow German team Union SG, who are again fighting at the top of the table in the Bundesliga. But Xabi Alonso with a chance here to get a decent little run through to the final because in the other side of that draw, you've got Feyenoid versus Roma. So if Leverkusen come through that, they could <laughs> play either Roma or Feyenoid. Wait, Feyenoid, Roma. Feyenoid, Roma. Feyenoid, 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 Feyenoid are a dangerous option. That's, the, that's the remake of the Conference League final. Hype, yeah. Yeah, that is actually yeah. final Roma. Final Roma. Was, league final yeah, last was, year. was it? Was but yeah. no, it's you're talking though. about a Chabi Alonso run. No, no Frank was Europa League. That Jose Mourinho could do back to back European <coughs> finals in two different competitions. That's crazy. Do not sleep on Roma, I'm telling you. Nah, man. The form Dybala's in the last couple of weeks as well. He's feeling himself. They got final just there. Sent off every game, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, doesn't he? yeah. I love I it. Like and I think we deserve it. I love it. No, man. I could see a Roma United final. Ooh. I will love it, and I think we all deserve it. <laughs> yeah. United fans, either you get your lick back on Jose, or Jose gets his on you. And I prefer back the first one. European <laughs> titles. Jose now has got the stripes back on his chest. Oh, yeah, hey, he's... the narratives I'm spitting today. We nah, need that. I'm sorry, but that's we the uh, that's that. the old special one. The new special one is on a slot. Yeah, on a slot. The stuff that he's Ooh. done at the stuff that he's done at Feyenoord this year is <coughs> it, it is ridiculous. Hey, I mean, before I forgot hey. Anzi, the team he was at before he gave them Anji. their best record in in Eredivisie history. Feyenoord now. Uh, Say that again. He's cruising. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Did you just he's make up a stat? He's cruising. I, I, just, I just forgot the stat. He just tried to make up a stat and thought he could hoodwink. I know my editor busy. Angie, what, what was that you just Angie, said? Angie, what was his former Angie's side? Angie's at a Russian club, first and foremost. Okay, not Angie Mashakalaka. <laughs> not Angie Mashakalaka. I caught him! It's not. All right, he's in the former side. What's his, who's his former side? Who is his former side? I've got no mm, idea. Oh, man, I guess it up managers. They don't know. No, no, no. I do know it, mate. I do know it. Alkmaar. Is it Alkmaar? He's an Alkmaar. I, I wanted Alkmaar. him to get it. Let's in Alkmaar. <laughs> oh, I wanted him to my bad, my bad, my bad. It was Anzi, mate. I'm telling you. Anyway. That's an Anzi. No, but Michelle I'm telling you, on a slot, yeah? You watch them. You watch Feyenoord, yeah? The football they play, beautiful attacking football. I'm telling you, give him three to five years. I think he's the next Nagelsmann roller manager. He will come to the Premier League within a couple of years. And I, I, I'd watch out for Feyenoord, mate. Well, listen, let me get a name for the winner of the Europa League. Pex Volley. I don't know why I said this that. This season. Man U, Seville, <laughs> Juventus, Sporting, Wait. Leverkusen, Union, uh, SG, Feyenoid or Roma. Who are we going with? United. You reckon, yeah? Yeah, I, I have to. I have think, to. It, was it last year? It's you a lot to get past Seville well. in this uh, competition. Two years ago. Four. Two years ago, yeah. It's a lot think, to get yeah. past Seville in this competition, though. I don't think so. Yeah. Severe relegation um, zone. No, yeah, this, 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 this season, they're not doing so well. Uh, uh, we're going back to Smelly. heritage in certain competitions yeah. and Sevilla. Real Madrid Seville have Champions that. League heritage. Yeah. Sevilla have, have uh, Europa League heritage. I, I hear it. Did they not dish, dish you up as well, Sevilla? Yeah, in the final, 2016. Yeah, yeah. yeah. dish. Pops first <laughs> year, isn't it? Yeah, I remember. 
Um, Greg Goff from Daniel Sturridge. Sturridge yeah, I think for maybe <laughs> maybe Sporting might be the the trip up yeah. for United more than Sevilla. If anything, really, they're the ones I'm looking at. I think Juve is. Sporting I think are get past Juve. Sporting, I think, will surprise Juve. Honestly, really? yeah. Ooh. I think I think the manager there. I think some of the players there as well. They're it's very possible. good and underrated. Yeah. I think Juve. It's Di Maria and Inshallah. Vlahovic ain't really <laughs> slapped how they thought he was gonna slap. Ain't seen him at all. Um, Di Maria's yeah. performance against was it Freiburg away. 3-0 Dima Unbelievable He scored a hat trick anyone. Unbelievable I think it was not to, The one where he curled yeah. it From like God knows yeah, where That was Unbelievable disgusting. strike That one um, But let us know in the comments Who you think wins The Europa League The, the second best uh, tournament In Europe of course And obviously Arsenal Going out the Of best. the competition Ooh, This week to Sporting Lisbon By the way it, Just before you go in It's AZ Alekmar yeah, So Whip out all your stats on AZ Alekmar or you want Mr. Eredivisie. By the way, but AZ Alkmaar, not Al- Alekmaar. Uh, Al- Who's no, no, Alekmaar? Alekmaar. <laughs> it is Alekmaar. It is Alekmaar. Hey. Yeah, you killed me, James. That is. Yeah, um, let me just read a couple of super chats out before we speak about Arsenal going out of Europe and is it a blessing in disguise for them? Leipzig <laughs> is so far from Bayern, Napoli and Real Madrid. Uh, big up to Tina for sending the super chat. I can't really make it out fully, um, but thank you nonetheless. She says uh, City's problem is Pep and his tack tick in final. Pep can drop KDB or Rodri, and City has to focus on the Prem. Um, yeah, very true. Uh, another super chat coming in here from. Let's have a look to find it. Uh, Diallo saying, "What if United crash out of the top four and don't win the Europa League?" Uh, mm. He asks. Well, it would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Obviously, it as would. we know. I agree. Big disaster. Uh, Coward AGT is back saying, <laughs> I just saw that coming. <laughs> big up to you, my friend. Big uh, goal there. Barnet 1-1 left. Notts County. Very Whoa. big goal for Barnet. Absolutely. Um, just before we get into this next Arsenal topic, I know a lot of you want to speak about them after they went out of Europe this week. But let's see what else is on DR Sports tonight. Mm. This week, Saturday on DR Sports, we're going to be hosting a very special watch along. It's UFC 286. And we're going to be doing a watch along to the big fight. It is Leon Edwards versus Kamara Usman. You've got to come and check it out live here on DR Sports. I'm going to be hosting it with our brand new MMA host, Zaki. We'll be giving you the lowdown on the fight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, easy, bro. You ready? What's all that? What's all this? You said you're going to get stuck in. We're going to no, no, yeah, he ain't signed up for that. No, no, no. What do you no. mean? You, that's, that's what we said we're going to do. Okay, we'll worry about Robbie in a sec. But listen, make sure you join us on Saturday evening from 9 o'clock, UFC 286, Kamaru Usman versus Leon Edwards, the trilogy fight. Who's going to win? We'll find out on Saturday. Make sure you join us. Robbie, I swear we're going to go live. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Tappy, oh, Tappy. <laughs> <laughs> trick there, you're good for the season. Kulusevsky did that for us but, last but, year. But I if, think Trossard has the ability to be that. Um, I, don't, I, I, don't, I look I don't, at Trossard and I'm like, I wonder if Brighton was his level. I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of times know, where players, know. yeah, sometimes I feel like they try and play above their levels and I think someone like Drinkwater or something like that, I'm like, bro, you were at Leicester. That's fine, that's your level. It's like Zaha as well. I, get, I don't know yeah. if Zaha is a top no, six I think player. Trossard I think is Zaha, very good. Palace, Trossard, tr- legend, I'm Antonio. Excited. West Ham would, would Trossard will, would, will I guess a prediction mm-hmm. Trossard ever be Arsenal first choice like week in I, week I would start. say I, wow set up hey, speaking crazy. of Arsenal there's our own food <laughs> the set up questionable take crazy. on the Andre Yo, Trossard the hey, liberty of a Spurs Ooh. fan oh, to call hi, Brighton man, his listen, level if you, wow if you understand where I'm coming from you know boy you know what I'm saying those that know know but there you go. They just, heard the uh, name drink one and heads went. <laughs> hey, yo. Just a reminder of the big fight tonight. Leon Edwards versus uh, Usman. The, th- the third fight in the trilogy. Mm. Uh, we will be having that for you from 9pm on DR it. Sports it's tonight. Gonna, it's going to pop Big off. UFC fight uh, first, on first DR Sports. First British champion um, for, I think, six years since Michael Bisping last won it. Finally oh, bringing it back to the O2, to London. An England fight card. Man, this is, it's going to be fireworks. You're going to want to tune in for that one because, wow, action, action, action. Big undercard as well <clears throat> on the fight there. You've yeah, got Justin sure. Gaethje versus Fisiev. It's a massive, massive card and not one you want to miss. Big card on DR Sports tonight with some knockout guests on that one for sure as well. Um, going back to Arsenal, is going out of the Europa League a blessing in disguise? Yeah, yes, yes, I know. Supposed to play a clip then, but no worries. Oh. <laughs> um, 
I'll ask the question again. Is Arsenal going out of the Europa League a blessing in disguise? Still no clip, no worries. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it says, it says clip there, but um, I'll ask you again. <laughs> Have we got a clip? No. 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 It's not, it's not Very clear. Clip there, so Loud and clear. For that, unfortunately. <laughs> Four, uh, <laughs> okay. Right, let's ask it again. So Arsenal have now uh, one game. So Arsenal have uh, one game a week to focus on until the end of the season after going out of the Europa League. Which begs the question: Is this a blessing in disguise? Will they now focus solely on the league? They've got Crystal Palace tomorrow, two o'clock kickoff, which we will preview now. But. Could this be a good thing? Because the Arsenal fans that I've spoken to claim to say, oh, I wanted us to go out of that. Do you ever want to go out of that? And the, the, the team talks, the little huddles on the pitch would tell me that they didn't want to go out of yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. I think, that's a dangerous, I, think, I think that's a dangerous mentality to have, I think, to just yes. say like, yo, we don't want to win cups, especially in a cup Arsenal haven't won before. Like they mm -hmm. don't have any European trophies whatsoever. So for that to have been another kind of one that Arteta ticks off, FA Cup, Europa League, potentially Premier League, that would have been a, a nice trifecta. So I think all season as well, I don't think Arsenal have played well in the Europa League. They've played rotated sides, almost like they're not taking it serious. And I felt like they got knocked out of the FA Cup against City playing a rotated side as well. So yeah. for me, I always think it's one of the things, I mean, Spurs fans will agree with me here as well, it's one of the things that frustrated us about Pochettino was like in the Cups, we're not a team that wins many cups. Do not rotate the squad and see this as an opportunity to this season, Sheffield, how we went out rotating the side. So mm -hmm. I think Arsenal in, in that game against Sporting, Sporting got the job done in my opinion. I thought Sporting what came a goal, by the way. Incredible well. finish. One of the best goals this 50 season. Yards out. Everyone's too busy focusing on Kim Kardashian in the stands and all these <laughs> I saw a tweet. parts of the <laughs> arenas. You know those tweets that Listen. say when your girl turns up and you have a, a screamer. <laughs> yeah. Bruh, he saw was, Kim was up there and thought, I'm gonna no, have to impress her. Kim yeah. Kardashian had their heads spinning, bruv. So I don't know what happened, but Sporting came, got the job done, and I don't think any Arsenal fan who says that they're happy to be out of it and now they can focus on the league picture the scenario if you don't win the league now now you've potentially That's walked away with then nothing there the you go. when the Europa League could have been there for you when the FA Cup could have been there because you beat City in that FA Cup all of a sudden who are the other big sides really left in it now what is it United only really yep mm -hmm. like the, these are the kind of opportunities you don't want to throw away and give up so I think any any, and, I, and I laughed at it midweek when I saw Arsenal fans after the game tweeting, oh, it's a blessing in disguise. I'm like, listen, when we take L's, we all try and mm. give out those words to make ourselves feel better. Spin. Whatever mm. helps you sleep at night. Positive spin. But there is no way any Arsenal fan can tell me they're happy about it. No, that. but I think it the is, though, because no they don't is... have a lot of squad depth, do they? Squad depth is a big issue for them, so having that extra time to play the games, I mean, you saw well, it with that Chelsea when they won the league. Jorginho was yeah, brought in. Yeah, they, yeah, they out, were they brought at in, at but tiny, it's still not enough squad depth. Look at at fullback. You're like going into the Vieira trenches in the hottest injuries. part of the well. season yeah, but, but against Manchester City. Yeah, but they have more depth than an Olympic diving pool. Arsenal five, is like players. a kiddies paddling pool in comparison. You cannot so say that they have enough sporting, depth but they, to compete to on two sporting. fronts. Sporting. Yeah, they should be beating Sporting. Don't get me wrong. But to say it's not a blessing, to say it's not something that's going to help them not having to play on Thursdays and then Sundays, three-day turnarounds, I mean, I don't I know how you can turn around silly. and say that. When they don't, don't have the best depth, they're going into a battle now. No, Their best chance to win the that. league in decades. I don't decades. agree with that. I don't agree with that. They, they don't, don't have, the, they don't have the best depth. I'm not saying that a team Eddie ever goes into a competition comfortably when Of course he stepped in. Don't tell me they ain't But look at the depth that City have. Look at the battle they're in. They are in the trenches. At the same time, this is You're comparing it to City's depth. That is unrealistic. No one They're whipping out dual wheeled deagles while City are sat there with a browning machine gun stuck to the brim. Yeah, right, but and we're, say, we're saying this now. I what? don't care. You can slide Trossard in who you in yourself said Brighton might be his level and now you're trying to yeah, slide but, Trossard into that conversation. That's a different story. Yeah, that is a good but, point to be fair. But... <laughs> They what do not have the, to, to, the, it's, it's a massive, Bro, massive blessing. Bro, you're just making noise now. No, because we're, say, we're talking about what this squad What I said depth. is that you, you're trying to bring Trossard into the conversation now, despite in that clip about two minutes well, yeah, ago saying that guess what? he wasn't good enough you, for a time you, race. You, you perfectly, his level you're by, so you know. dumb, you didn't even realise you just played into my point. Because what I'm saying is when Trossard comes point. to Arsenal, he is squad depth. 
And right now, I just brought him up to say it's Trossard the squad there. So, so, so with, 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 with injuries coming in, he has to start for them. Point disproved. Yeah, but take, take, take away. Take, <laughs> take, take, take away. Sorry, sorry. That is not point disproved because you said Brighton was his level. Yes. In, did you understand the point? Yeah. Well, your what point, you, I don't what? care if you no! can try and change your tune. Don't try and change your tune. You can try and change your tune, you can can try try and change your tune no. all you want with squad depth, this and that. You said point blank, Brighton is his level. And now you're talking about him going in a tight title race against Manchester City and being relied upon to get the goals for them no and uh, and play what? You went so two games from topic. Thursday to Sunday? I have been uh, more on topic than, uh, than a quiz show. What are you talking about me. right now? What have you said in the last two what minutes as relevant said to what you're saying? I said your point <laughs> you was just that he for is, two minutes. You, you made two points. First of all, that they have enough squad depth to fight in Europe and fight in the you Premier League that. in a title race against Manchester City. That. I don't say they don't. I didn't say that they can't do it. I still thought they had the league wrapped up. But you cannot turn around and say not having to play on Thursday and then Sunday with their squad depth, which does not line up in any way comparable to Man City Why and say that it doesn't help them. City into this? Because they're the ones they're going up against. City, I'm not going to bring up Liverpool. City, I'm not going to bring up Spurs. This. I think no, a I'm poll. Saying, I think I'm we need a look, poll. Look, Who's look, right? Look, Fuad or is it look, James look, look, too? Look, Let's get look, a poll. Right now, we expect, <laughs> we, expect, <laughs> we, expect, we expect, yeah, for teams to compete on multiple fronts. Are we saying Arsenal don't have a... You're essentially saying Arsenal do not have a squad to compete on multiple fronts this year. That's the bottom line of what I've got. an extreme argument. I never said that. I said it's a benefit. I didn't say they can't do it. I said it is a... Ooh, your question, the question that was phrased is, is this a blessing in disguise for them? And yes, it is. I that is my answer. I didn't say they can't. I, I, I didn't I say they shouldn't. But it is a Let's know in the comments. Think, We've got think, a poll up. Fuad and James too. Let's go to Aaron to get I think it's a cop-out. I think saying it's a blessing in disguise is a cop-out. Because if you... First of all, Arsenal are not in a position to be picking and choosing what you can and can't win. You can't sit here and say, yeah... We got, we're out of the FA Cup, yeah, we don't want to win that. Out of the Carabao Cup, yeah, we don't want to win that. Out of the, what's it called, the Europa League, yeah, we don't need to win that. But the Premier League, oh yes, we need to win it. So what are you essentially telling your players? What mentality are you bringing over to the players? The players aren't doing it. This because is the you, fans saying it. The fans yeah, okay, aren't the there fans, going, that's fine. Like, the, I mean, and I'm, Robbie's not and walking I'm into to the, the changing room before the game like, no, you but know I'm, what, lads? I'm talking about the fans. I am talking about the fans because clearly Arteta, with his changes, he showed me that he wanted to win this game. He clearly showed it to me. He was on the touchline doing all this and bringing on his best place. He wanted to win this game. Of course he did. But for the fans to say that this is a blessing in disguise. So what, you're content with winning the Premier League and that's it? No, of course they are, mate. Everyone won the Premier League. Maybe, maybe. And then, win that, then you've got nothing. And I'm, he I'm also hearing, yeah, oh my God, oh, it's, it's actually nice we're out of the Europa League because we would have had Juve and having, a, having to play Juve and Liverpool in the same month is, is tough. So what are you going to do next season then? In the Champions League, in the Champions League, Champions League when you're bro, playing you against Real Madrid and then Chelsea, and it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't. They'll have the. What do you they'll mean, have the champion. They'll have the funding from winning the Premier matter. League. They'll reinvest. <laughs> no, what matters right, right, right now is not the future. In. It's winning in. the Premier League now. I'm going to step in. We've put the poll out. Who is right, uh, Fuad or James Toon? Sixty-five percent going with James at the minute. So uh, they're yeah, saying yeah, Arsenal don't. Arsenal don't. Five hundred votes so far. I think that's the first vote of one in my life. Arsenal have the strength. Don't have the strength apparently to compete on multiple. We go. Super chat time. That. Super chat time from Sweet Kevin chat. Jimenez, who says it's a loser mentality to be happy to lose a cup. Thank you. Uh, another super chat saying the key word is intensity, saying Peter. A huge drop off for Arsenal in intensity because subconsciously players weren't feeling the Europa League. If performances aren't the same, uh, we'll same leave well alone and just go for the league this man united bum saying we're not in a position to choose when we're at the top of the table lmfao uh, but here's my final question to you which again is the same sort of question but does this benefit them um, not being in the europa league i would say yes i would say yes personally but then your argument of well if you're quite content to only play once a week for the next 11 weeks how no, on that, earth are you going to do no, this next year when you are in the champions league mm. in every cup because let's not forget they're not in the league cup or fa cup as well so they had two kind of trophies to go for now they've only got one which isn't a guarantee of course but i do think this helps them but then this can't be a thing that you rely Listen, upon playing going one forward. game you a can't week say we only want helps. one game a week for the next five years because yeah. that means we'll definitely win something at the end of it no to be the best look at us last season we played every single game you and challenged every single trophy. for everything and no one was saying 
I mean, they're saying it now, right? But no one was saying at the time, oh, Liverpool would be happy if they went out the League Cup final to Chelsea. They'd be, yeah. No, you want if you're in it, you've got to win it. Facts. Yeah, but look at if where you it, were. You've, you've already win. won yeah. the Champions League. You've already won the Premier League. Arsenal haven't won anything significant aside from a couple of FA Cups since 2004. This is their no, biggest chance point. to win the and Premier that, League. That's why I'm saying you're not looking at the next game. five years and, and go for Leeds. It's oh, would you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to love it. Oh, we're staying up, baby. The Saturday oh, football mate, show I told you, man. Today. Form is temporary. Class is it's permanent. And there Kaling. is no one classier than Luke Kaling. You did I told you, mate. he's getting the ponytail out and he is strumming the guitar, he mate. That is the first goal since scum last year. I call it, mate. Call me. Mystic Mac McGregor. I predict these you know things. The first oh, oh, Equaliser equalize. for Southampton. Oh, oh, it's a goal for Southampton. On the Osport Saturday Football Show, just oh, to round it up for you. Shay Adams. Just as you were saying, name me a decent Southampton fair, striker. I said, I said Shay well, Adams. Yeah, I said as well. And he's just scored again. <laughs> I you. said Shay Adams. It. Don't you know take credit. I'm calling everything today. I call Luke Aylin and Shay Adams. You call me delusional. You're one away from getting a hat trick of correct shots. And yeah, if this poll goes your way, that might be the third one, mate. Because at the minute, it's 60 40 James Doom right say, now of over 700 genius. votes. I can't believe this. He was making up hella outlandish statements before the They're game. not outlandish. Two of them have come to the you truth. think they are? It's the same way when we played. Do you know what? Big up to Liverpool. Luke Ayling. He did an interview in the week where he spoke about his stammer and how the, uh, the Southampton, no, sorry, the Watford player, Kem. Uh, Ken Semmer. Ken Semmer, who really bravely came out and spoke about his stammer as well. Really encouraging oh, to see. So what? Luke Luke that is oh, well defending. Good finish. Oh, oh, fucking he injured himself Poor defending well. from Wolves. But Che Adams gets his goal. Uh, and you did say as well, my friend, the best time to score just before halftime and just after halftime. Well, yeah. We've seen time. both. <laughs> We've seen both in the last 10 minutes in this game. But Southampton, the Saints, less than a minute into the second half, equalise. Massive goal for Liverpool potentially and, and Newcastle in the hope to finish in the top four. But Che Adams and South gets Hampton, his who are goal. At the bottom of the table now. Yes, or well, not anymore if they can come back and do a little bit better in this one. But Shea Adams gets his goal. It looks onside. Theo Walcott uh, crosses. Yeah, really like that. Sure. When was the last time Theo Walcott got an assist in the Premier League? I'd love to know if we can get a fact up, please. But he has one today. It's a really good cross um, into that corridor of uncertainty, as they call it in football. Great ball in the box. And Shea Adams is there to finish off post and in at the back stick. 1-1. One, one. At St. Mary's, massive, massive goal for the Saints. I think we're finished about speaking about Arsenal now, aren't we? I think, I think we are. <laughs> yeah. Unless we want to preview the Palace game a little oh, bit more. I think Fuad wants to speak a little bit more about Arsenal. Um, right it's now, it's still about 60-40 in the chat. Um, but let's talk about the England squad, <laughs> right? We will speak about Ooh, um, yes. Arsenal and Palace a little bit later on. But let's talk about the England squad. A couple of notable absentees, a couple of notable inclusions in the squad. But just to go through them here, um, the goalkeepers are, are always really Pickford, Pope and Ramsdale. Uh, the Less defenders... Let's the goal, Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes, oh, crap. Harvey oh. Barnes with the equaliser. Oh, um, so one good. all at uh, the GTEC Stadium and Harvey Barnes again so soon after half time. What a great time to score, the worst time to concede um, for Brentford. So now Harvey Barnes gets his equalising goal um, for Leicester. But the defenders, Ben Chilwell, Eric Dyer, Mark Gahey in the team, which I'm really glad to see. Reese James, Harry Maguire. I mean, I'm saying Harry Maguire like that just because there's a few names after I'm going to ask you about that I just can't understand how they're in the squad. But anyway, mm -hmm. Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw, John Stones, Kieran Trippier and Kyle Walker, Jude Bellingham, Connor Gallagher in the midfield, Jordan Henderson, James Madison, Mason Mount, who I can't see why he's in the squad. <laughs> Calvin Phillips, another name that just baffles me of, uh, around how he's been included. Declan Rice there, Foden, Grealish, Kane, Saka, uh, Rashford, and Tony, Ivan Tony, finally getting that call up. Three, three names I'm going to um, put on the table f uh, for us to debate. What are the odds on him getting Harry Maguire. <laughs> uh, if he, I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you're already in trouble with the bet, so maybe stay out of the bookies, <laughs> Ivan. But um, Harry Maguire, Mason Mount, Calvin Phillips. How on earth have those three names got in this squad? <laughs> uh, because Calvin <laughs> Phillips is the best. Calvin Phillips, Harry Maguire and Mason Mount. Southgate Skyers. Yeah. yeah, exactly. 
and Calvin that, that's Phillips, it. you cannot understate the work that he does for England, the work that he Give does in Southgate system, it, mate. It, the work he no, does in no, no, Southgate no, system is James, amazing. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not letting you try and spin that one. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. can't. No, 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 no. You're not spinning that one. I will. We see, we had Listen, this conversation. Listen, you're on a roll. Don't ruin remember it for when we, Remember when we did the World Cup teams, like what, four or five months ago here, me, you, Fuad, Matisse, and you guys were cussing up my team. My team was pretty much the closest one, aside from Jack Harrison and Calvin Phillips. It was pretty much spot on. So just the Jack Harrison, right? the Jack Harrison one Honestly, that mate, went down like a you, lead you balloon you but know. you guys were laughing at me for Pickford for putting Maguire in there and these guys all started okay. because they're Southgate so, so answer Phillips. this question Phillips is Southgate's guy another chance for Southampton the ball goes across the box and I, feel, I feel sorry for James Will Prowse man I feel sorry he doesn't deserve How is he it over Phillips though so quality oh, the James. quality oh, on, man. Calvin Phillips James, if you're James, talking James, about James. a complete player Calvin Phillips is 10 times the midfielder what, aside from then slotting James in a few Ward set pieces he is not playing set pieces, James, he's not aside playing. from set pieces what we get quality a five does minute James Ward Prowse have to his game James I won't done. even debate that he is not playing James that's the question I was going to ask. He's not playing. He's not even playing. That's why I'm, I'm bringing in Harry Maguire and Mason Mount to the table well. All either. three of them are not playing. Yeah, but They're it's, not playing. Nah. Mate, I'm sorry. It's, it's not a major nah. tournament. You need to get your players in that are going to play in that major tournament. Yeah, but guess James what? James Ward-Prowse is never going to feature in a major tournament under Southgate. Whether you say that's because of James Ward Prowse, isn't, that, isn't that a shame? Isn't that a shame for him and England that well, they can't rely on a, 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 a quality player. set piece taker like him? Yeah, but Over... your point is set piece taker. If we don't need a set no, piece taker, we bro, need a player. He's not if just a set piece taker. Oh, you'd be taker. surprised on how important Listen, we might not be saying well, that long because he's standing over a free kick right now uh, for Southampton uh -oh. in his favourite <laughs> position. All right, so there he is, mate. Honestly, if this goes in, you've got a ten-minute ban in the toilets facing the wall. Seriously. If this goes in, you've got to hang your head in shame. James Ward-Prowse, it's travesty how he's not made that squad, if I'm honest. Um, whereas Calvin Phillips, who barely, barely, barely plays, is in the squad. Let us know your Form thoughts in the permanent, comments. Um, James Madison also in that uh, team as well. 60-40 um, roundabouts on the votes, by the way. A thousand of okay. um, Harry Maguire, Over 3,000 of you game gave, a of a, gave a bit of a shrug, your, shrug of your shoulders at with Harry Maguire. Why not him? Barely played. Not good enough, but again, but it's Southgate's boys. He's part of the crew. Okay, isn't he? but in the in the in the Euros, in the in the World Cup, sorry, I, not the Euros. I don't think he played as well as people. Can, think wait, can I ask? Can, really can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Played well. No, I thought he was a very no, comfortable. No, no, no. Wait, wait, hold on. Can, can I ask you a question? Obviously, you'd probably not know, but I'm supporting Germany because I'm born and raised there. Okay. As a neutral fan, how much longer are you going to play that card in the World Cup, in the Euros, in the how how long are you going to do that for? For as long as he plays, because no, you can't. because it worked last time. Every major tournament he's delivered. But we're I'm in sure 2023, and know. we're still talking about what people done Agreed. in 2018. Agreed. No, I'm and, talking and, about and, not and, what he did in uh, 2018. You, I'm talking the World Cup that just happened. Yeah, but it's I'm happened talking three he months ago. Good, it's he happened wasn't that three good. months ago, and he was very good. He wasn't very he wasn't good. Because he was not very good. Look how he got dealt with. I was just going to say, with Germany as well, you've had that with like Muller, with Hummels, those kind of players that they've all been sidelined guys. But then after a while, you know, you had to move on from them. Had to move you on. You had the tournament last time. It almost just seems like, in my eyes, it would have been now the time to kind of, all right, now let me try some new guys. There's a new Musiala, tournament coming. Musiala, Musiala, Musiala. The new kids coming through, yeah? yeah. Uh, Bella Koch. Uh, 100%, and... absolutely. And that's what um, Hansi Flick has done. That's what I would have thought Southgate would have done. But he's still, and this is why there's still that large contingent of England fans that will always not have that full faith of Gareth. No matter what he's done, no matter how many finals or semi-finals he gets to, the reason why England fans will feel like they can't cross the finish line because he keeps his reliance on guys who are clearly A, not good enough, B, not showing that they're good enough because they're not playing or getting the minutes. Facts. But then B, C, you're doing it off the basis of, Oh, trust and what he's done for me. Trust only that lasts thing can only certain, last for a yeah, so long. Exactly. Can only be trust for lasts so long. forever. Once you have trust in someone, you keep and that. that's And that's fine. But as long as you have that mentality, England will do well in the group stages. You'll come to a point in the no, quarters. No, 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 and then you'll point. get knocked out. out. You'll get knocked out. No, James. No, James, you don't because you don't They don't. They don't. How can you say trust like it's a good thing? In the big moments where you've needed to trust them, where have they been? Oh, what? Was he the one that missed the penalty? He didn't miss the penalty. Of course he didn't miss it the wasn't, penalty, it was, it was Sancho, should have gone it, was, to penalties. it was Rashford, it was Saka, the guys that you would still slide in the team now. It wasn't Maguire's fault that we lost the penalty shootout. It wasn't Maguire's fault that we lost I the I just France. don't see how Tamori doesn't get in that team on form and minutes played. The guy won a league title, Harry for Maguire. God's sake. I just don't, I can't yeah, get my head around it. International football can't is different. You should, nah, you, you can't maybe, say maybe that. Maybe Tamori should get in over Gahey, but over... 
over Maguire? No, I'm sorry. International what? football is different. I think the most contentious one, though, is the defender. It is a defender. Is Carl Walker. Now, arguably, the only thing he's better at flashing than women in the bar is balls across the box. But in any other line of work... <laughs> that was a good one, Phil. That's that's so right. that was I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. No, I actually didn't hear it. Look, there's a penalty <laughs> shout. There's a penalty <laughs> shout. I'll give it that was a there's a VAR one, penalty <laughs> shout here. VAR shout, maybe. But, uh, it, but yes, yes. Ooh. Aside from that, see it. Uh, that's no, a no, pen. I want a pen for that. Should he, in any other line of work, if you do something like that, you're sacked off. Should he be represented? I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Like that? I agree with you. I don't think he should be in the that reason spot. why I'm, I'm saying this as well is because all the other teams, like Fu had mentioned, the other teams are getting better. He mentioned Germany. I looked at the France um, team as well. Deschamps has belt. completely shaken it up. Yeah. He, Turam's got his two bloody sons in the national team now. Crazy. It's crazy. Like he's shaking it up a, a little bit. This has Come to be a penalty. Fuck off. What? No penalty at St. Mary's. Let me get into a couple of super chats. I'm being accused of not reading them all out. Yes, um, when you have someone like Grealish or Saka that constantly go down in dangerous areas, you bring on someone like JWP exactly for the set pieces saying London Nomad. I agree. When you've got uh, players that are constantly getting fouled all the time that does give you an opportunity to score from a set piece and if you have that opportunity, why not give it to the best man in the country who can take free kicks? Give um, it to Trent then. Well, that's another, that's another debate. Murad saying, when is it time to go for Southgate? For me personally, it was, it's times past. Yep. When he wins the... After the Euro World Cup. Euros. He won't. After the World Cup. <laughs> he, he won't. won't. <laughs> he won't. Uh, I'm sure he won't. Tell me how Maguire makes it and Tamori doesn't, saying, Peter, thank you for the super chat. I definitely agree. That's what we just said. It's what we just said. Um, by the way, big goal for Wigan away to Watford. Um, James McLean with that one. Um, he's still playing it was uh, wow. he's still playing yeah um, Celtic are now 1-0 against Hibs at home Jota 52nd minute with the penalty and in the Premier League it's still Aston Villa 1 Bournemouth 0 Brentford 1 Leicester 1 Southampton 1 Tottenham 1 despite that penalty shout for Spurs which was waved away after a VAR check Should have been and a penalty, Wolves I mean you must be in dreamland right now as are the Middlesbrough another goal for them Cameron Archer with his second of the game come off the wow. hour come off the man 3-0 Middlesbrough now they are absolutely on smoke in this championship and Michael Carrick is getting a lot of plaudits and right. rightfully so um, you must be in dreamland right now well, to away way at, at Wolves I am well I was in dreamland you know I was up in the clouds unfortunately the top of my head did get clink, clipped by a aeroplane wing that was flying past as Spurs conceded he's and tired. Brentford tired. also he's tired. He's so tired. your boys again oh, your boys no, letting me down shit, once man. again why am I not surprised uh, typical Spurs James crumbling is at RB. the seams <laughs> Uh, so, you know, I was flying high, but now I've been brought down to sobriety by Southampton equalising and <laughs> Leicester equalising against Brentford. But still, a win is mahoosive, mate. Mahoosive. We'll go one point behind Wolves. So, as long as we can keep this result, I'm happy. Go for Leeds! It's oh, oh, yes, we can! Wow. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Vamos Carajo. Leeds three, Wolves nil. Which, if you go on my preview, That's was my crazy. exact prediction. So I'm getting everything right today. Oh, it's Rasmus <laughs> Christiansen as well. He's just come on the pitch. He's been on the pitch about 20 seconds, and he slotted it into the top corner. Oh, it's a ball. It's whipped in. It's a scintillating ball across. He's flicked it. Oh, through the defender's leg. Still going. Still going. Oh, and that is how you drill it across goal. Woo, mate. That was such a good drill. You could buy it in screw fix, mate. <sighs> Damn. You done? Finished? And breathe. Yeah. You done? Breathe now? I love the energy you know, though. I love it. <laughs> no, it's yeah, brilliant. That's what we like on the Saturday I football show. 3-0 up now. Leeds away at Wolves. Which begs the question. If Leeds can win 3-0 away, then why are Liverpool getting beat 3-0 there? Um, but anyway, Football's Exodus. Heritage, Cheers. Exodus. Uh, AGT is the hero of reading Super Chats. He loves reading cheeky banter. And that's a great thing. Thank you, I guess. It's a cheeky um, Less Fuad and more James. His banter is on point. Hey. Today, says, uh, channel, man. Alma Nation yeah, man. 88. No, 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 no. I've got to show some love to Fuad, man. No, big up. Show you some know, love he's to bigging you up. He's I'm bigging you up. up. I'm saying, yo, if no, you're no, no, James, no, get to I the know, channel as well, no, bro. No, but you can have more of both. You don't have to have less of Fuad. Right, fuck me, man. Love this guy. <laughs> uh, WTF, these analogies are so forced, saying Crunk King 232. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, LJ Brown with the super chat. You're better Scouser fan than Jonathan Morley. Is that the the mad geezer on TikTok? Yeah. Like, okay. Oh, 
that's not a really a compliment, but yeah, big up to you. <laughs> uh, but then you get other people saying, AGT once again completely ignored my earlier super chat. What's going on? I don't think I did. And if I did, I apologize. But uh, I'm trying to get through them all. Uh, Javier Gracia knows ball saying XD Twister. He does. Um, I told you, man. Javier Gracia, different story, mate. This guy's playing 4D chess while all you schmucks are playing checkers. Or drafts. Yeah. Um, entire Arsenal fan base is cringe saying RTX. Who's Tight James's hands. dealer saying ball knowledge? Uh, 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 most, dreams. Most normal Leeds fan saying Joshua. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, I feel bad for the other, oh. other Leeds fans he knows. What else is going on in and around Europe? Augsburg and Schalke. Uh, we've just had a very, very late goal from Marius Butler with a penalty in the 93rd minute to get potentially Madness. a draw for Schalke away at Augsburg. And Luke Bolton has scored. Not the actual Bolton, Ooh. but for Salford. Salford. Three, one up. Salford. 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 He used to live in Manchester. Where I is also it? used to live Salford. in Manchester, mate. I used to live well, there for three years. You weren't paying attention then, clearly. And, uh, yeah, I did get cussed up for it. But oh, you're kidding me, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's Johnny, a consolation Johnny potentially on the for Wolves. Spot, man. Johnny. Oh, what are that? That's going to be a good game seams, now. Seems, man. A comeback, oh, maybe. Man, we've got Wolves come back. syndrome, man. Wolves oh. come back, James. How long left? Well, not a snowball's minutes, chance yeah. in hell are they coming <laughs> back. <laughs> That's enough time. Um, enough time. An hour gone, uh, St. Mary's still 1 1. It's well. end to end. Southampton look like they could mm. get a goal themselves. Uh, but Johnny. Uh, oh, come on, man. Oh, no, I thought that was three Can we two. not just keep a clean oh, sheet? Oh, no. Man? Do we just have to spill crumbs on the bed? Can we just keep a clean sheet, man? I don't like it. I'm moving around. There's stuff going up my crack, up my back. You easy, know? easy. Pause. Big pause. Um, <laughs> Halifax Why do you have to throw the pause in there? Uh, Yeovil Town nil, which is a big shame for the Glovers. Matty Warburton has scored for Halifax in that oh one. Oh, my God. Uh, oh. Leeds are falling apart against his Ty oh Jr. Oh, my God. He scored from 40 yards. No way. What? Melier, look, Melier has come out and diving-headed it oh, out wow. of his box. What is it? I told oh you, man. God. This guy is some what a crackhead, man. What is it? What is it? Is Johnny has volleyed it is on it the volley. Yeah. He's volleyed, Bro, volleyed Gracefully it good. from like 30 yards out He's under the bar. Did he do a stunk of it? Melier, I mean, Not as good Melier, as that. He's gone to no man's land. He's gone for a Sunday stroll at the park and Dolphin dived out of his box. What a Jeez. goal that is, by the way. Oh, my God. Will we see a better goal in the Premier League this oh season? Oh, my Lord. Well, yeah, yeah, you shake your head. Yeah, let, me, let me see that again. This is you unbelievable. Shake your head. I don't think we'll you... see a goal like that for a no, long look, time. I'm sorry, what's he doing? What is, uh, what, what is actually going over, through his head Melier, there? comes diving what header. Is what are you thinking, mate? Stand back and catch it. Yo. Him. Oh, my Yo. God. <laughs> Nuts. Look, Stand back Wow. Yeah. Control on it. Jesus Christ! This what is this guy. Goal. This guy. I mean, he goes that. from wow. world class. No, listen though, James. Champions just calm down a sec. Melier, in his defence, that's not a bad header. That's not actually a bad header. He's cleared his lines. It's the pass after that that's put you in to trouble. To be fair, yeah, no, you, you, had, you had the chance to clear it's it. It's cock with the poor clearance going straight yeah, to, he may have to Johnny. It up, but no one cocked it up as bad as him. I don't think that's Melier's fault. If the keeper's that far out. Sub, uh, subconsciously as a defender you know don't lose the ball here because if you do quickly they could shoot because our keeper's no, outside of his goal he does this stuff all the time he just lapses of concentration I don't think you can blame him for that he does he's done it before man he, he literally did the same thing two three super weeks chat ago from Diallo oh. I definitely will read this one out as Leeds attack again with well, Patrick Bamford, Bamford uh, oh, God, and Aronson that? loses the ball Diallo saying again please rank Trossard, Jota, Richarlison, and Anthony. Well, I can tell you, Richarlison's at the bottom, easily, mm -hmm. by far. I would then say, what are we ranking it on, Wait, though? Richarlison under Anthony? Uh, Richarlison's not scored a goal this season. No, man, Richarlison over Anthony, man. He's not scored a goal. Bro, World Cup. some of your opinions Cup, are very man. questionable. Well, we're World talking Cup. Premier League. We're talking the Premier World League. World Cup, Champions League. Mm. Anthony's Champions gone off the League. boil, mate. Behave. Anthony hasn't been... At I think, I think Jot, what, we, what are we basing this on? That. Form, ability? I'd say Jot is at the top of that in terms of what he's achieved in the last two or three years Okay. out of those guys. Then I would say Trossard, Anthony Richarlison for me. I think that's fair. Just, just, yeah. I mean, Jot has not scored many goals this season, but I think as a name with those other three... Harry, oh, hey, Harry hey, Kane! That's Come better. On. Go to the rescue! Oh, you just got Massive Kane. goal. Just got Kane. Massive goal for just Harry Kane. Kane. Away at Southampton. Harry um, Kane. Just and you know he's going to do that little... It's like 21 oh, yes. for the season now as well. Oh, that's, that's, one goals for him. that's one thing I'll give him though. In a team like Spurs, who've been up and down the whole season, to still get 21 goals 
Listen, do you remember when they my, said? Listen, all my respect in it. Like, do you remember when they said uh, he wouldn't score goals in a Jose Mourinho team, and then he ended up golden boot and top assister in that oh, same yeah. season? Yeah. One thing I've learned about Harry Kane, no matter what system you put him in, he's going to thrive. He will find a way to adapt and survive. And Bruce I Lee think is. that's where it kind of it makes me laugh a little bit when United fans are talking about potentially not wanting him. Mm. And I get it. Maybe you lot want an Oshiman. You lot maybe want the new shiny toys or whatever. But in my eyes, I'm like, there is no he's ready more made. proven I've player. Said it, I've said it many times. I think the, the goal getting, literally, if you're looking for a like for like Van Persie type impact Roy of the that's Rovers. the one you me. you hit the nail on the head I've I've heard this so many times and I agree with it this is this could literally be a Van Persie 2.0 mm -hmm. and I've said it all along as well if you want someone who's like made let's have a look at the goal. school goals cross comes in from Kulisevsky and it's a good header vintage from Kane. Kane. of course vintage it's proper number yeah. nine Easy, striker well, Easy as you said they said he was a one season wonder do you remember when they said that he wouldn't win any trophies yeah, that was that was a funny. I think the storyline, the, the storyline is perfect. The storyline is perfect. I can see Man United going for Harry Kane. I don't know it's for how much, option, but really and truly. yeah, really and truly. That's people, people, people are talking about Bayern Munich. He ain't trying to win no. No offense, but he ain't trying to win no metal plates. No, man. not even that. I don't it's, think he wants uh, to move abroad. Yeah, he wants to break the goal scoring record. Yeah, I think, exactly. Unless. I mean, I can't. I see think it. it would just make sense if he comes to Man United, and I wouldn't lose. He's not my first choice. I'm not gonna lie, but if he comes, I'll be like, yeah, come. Does he fit into your style of play? Into your, Do you know what the thing? That's, that's attacking football. That's the big question. No, but the thing is, I don't think well, the way you lot are playing this season is Ten Hag's final um, final form. modification. Yeah, if that makes yet. sense. I think this is just almost like the transitional period of his ideology. Yeah. Next season, I'm expecting you not to play better football. But the one thing I I think with Ten Hag is he's not all swashbuckling tika taka football mm. the beauty of the, w the way he won at Ajax was some games he would set up where you need to kind of sit back but then a lot of the games because it's the Eredivisie and Ajax are so powerful he's on the front foot but mm. I think with time as you get a better midfield and things like that yeah. that will come along and then number nine of course but Another super chat from Blaze A saying, imagine Napoli buying City fans saying they're happy to exit the Champions League to focus on the leagues. This is why Arsenal will struggle next season with the Champions League. Hmm. Um, so I agree. Blaze A, it's a good point. If you can't do with the Europa League, what makes you think you'll do it with exactly. the Champions League? I agree. Um, right, 70 minutes gone at Molyneux, 20 minutes to go. Can needs hold on. They're 3-1 up against Wolves. Um, is there a bit of a... A, uh, a period what? now where it leads uh, back to the wall here. Mate, we've been back to the wall the entire game. Those three goals we got were all against the run of play. I told you our goal has been getting peppered like Sam. This has been rough. Oh, good I don't know how there. we're still holding off, but luckily, luckily, Wolves don't seem to be able to break us down, mate. They couldn't break their way out of a tin foil bag with a sledgehammer, to be honest Ooh, with you. Oh, big chance there, though, for, for Wolves and Leeds are doing Just everything pinballing they can around the box, mate. It's pretty safe, rid. man. Do I think we'll concede again? Not a snowball's chance in hell. Do I think we've got this in the bag? Pretty much money back guaranteed. If you do want to go on your Ivan Tony type beat and start betting some money on Leeds winning, then I would recommend it because you'll probably make quite a bit of bank. There you go. What about the other games though? Spurs, Fuad, turn the turn the tide now back up to two one. They you've hate been impressive to see what it. you've seen from them so far. They hate to see it. <laughs> but back do you hate game. to see what you're watching? What do you mean? Well, are you impressed with how you guys have been playing? Well, it's only been ten minutes out of the first half. Conceded, well, reacted well, get the goal back. We move now. Now you got to see how the last twenty five minutes. 23 minutes to be precise or 22 minutes and 42 seconds there'll be some additional time what do we make about um, Ivan Tony getting in that England squad then do we think he plays do we think he can maybe stay in the squad if he impresses is this due now for him to get his chance <laughs> you speak about Harry Kane know. isn't it is he, is he good enough to displace Harry Kane is the question listen everybody who gets called up you know what you're there to do exactly Harry Kane passes you his boots you clean them that's it <laughs> That's his job. You got to call up as an English striker. You know your job. Yeah. Yeah, Who's but unfortunately, up? you ain't cleaning Simple. boots when you're earning hundred grand a week, mate. That's hey, man. The Go for wolves. Yeah. Yeah. I told you the comeback was on. I told you. Nah, 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 nah. Oh told dear, you. it was a money back guarantee apparently. Wait, but Mateus Cunha. Ooh. And it's the guy we couldn't <laughs> sign a year ago. Nah, man. This is sprinkling Whoop. salt in the wounds, man. 
Come on, honestly, man. They couldn't hold on to a cushion with a flipping mechanical claw, let alone a lead these guys. Wolves got less than 20 minutes left plus Jesus. added time. And it's a corner again. Why am I not surprised it's a set piece? A game one. Oh, it's going to be another long shot, isn't it? It's going to be another 40 yard screamer, isn't it? It's, it's just typical. Ball comes in. Skid mark defending. Who's he heading it to there? Oh my god, and he's. Oh, it's oh, deflected, it's deflected it's and gone in. Mateus Cunha. Criminal! Well, we did say that the, the previous goal was potentially a consolation from Johnny, but maybe not. Is maybe there not. an opportunity here for Wolves to claw oh, something please, back from this no. game after being 3 0 down? A couple of super chats to get into before we go back around the grounds. Um, this one comes in from uh, Unknown uh, with the super chat. So we're saying that the Prem and Bundesliga is the same level. Cool. Uh, he says, LJ Brown saying, AGT, I still don't forgive you uh, for you making me die with laughter with the Michael Owen, John Motson story. <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, obviously, RIP to to man like John Motson each and every time. But um, that was a good story, mate. Thank you for that. Uh, big up to you for the super chats. Um, up the Wolves saying, Stephen Andrews. Um, Southampton to come back and get the draw saying, Sean and Kane will follow in the footsteps of Teddy Sheringham and Berbatov saying, Latif. In at the comment, big up James, keep the hype, saying off-cut greens. Uh, Lee's doing a Spursy, saying Dale M. We actually are. And uh, <laughs> bro, Wolves are almost back into it, saying Piyush. Big up. They are back into it. Going back to Ivan Tony though, what does he have to do? Because we've seen strikers come in and score and still not be in the next squad because they just know that Harry Kane is that main guy. It's almost as if we can look back at the 90s when you saw Sutton playing really well, Fowler, Ian Wright, Les Ferdinand. They knew that Shearer was the main guy. Mm. So no matter how well they played in cameos or even if they did get a rare start, they can't displace him. And we know with Southgate, this is what he does. Kane starts and plays and captains in every game. I think the best you can do is, listen, you get given minutes, do the best you can. Literally. But sometimes that's You get given 10 enough. minutes, do the best you can. Five, do the best you can. 15, 20, because you're not going to start ahead of Harry Kane. Well, look, Harry Kane hasn't had the, the best injury record, you know. He can, he can get injured. Well, as anyone can get injured. What a great Michael Owen statement that is. is. But around major <laughs> tournaments, mate, he is the next striker kicking on. It's either him or Tammy Abraham, basically, to take over the mantle oh. for Harry Kane. Mm. And he just oh. has to I take advantage. Tammy. I'm not sure. Tammy, yeah. Tammy, Tammy Abraham, mate. Uh. Do you hear? Do you hear? Do you hear Jose Mourinho's <laughs> quote about <laughs> it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jose Mourinho said he should go and uh, play for... Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I've said it all along. Oh, I don't know why he's chosen for England. But no, I think, look, Ivan Tony, he's just got to take the opportunities he can. Yeah. Like you say, whether it's 10, 15, 20 exactly. minutes, Harry Kane gets injured. If there's a penalty, play... who takes it? Kane or Tony? Kane. If they're both on Kane. the pitch? Don't do Kane. that. Yeah. Kane, Kane don't takes do that. it. Don't do that. He's a captain. The guy won a golden oh, boot yeah, yeah. off don't do that. Kane it. Yeah, it, it was a rhetorical question, yeah. but I still had to ask it. You know. um, let us know. But I can see Tony go into Kane and be like. Phillips, to be honest, but I can see Tony go to Kane and be like. You won't be on the pitch, bro. Let me. Um, uh, let's go back to the championship. Blackpool one, Coventry four. Um, <clears> at uh, Blackpool, that is a, a damning result for old Mick McCarthy. Uh, for the Oranges, uh, Matt Gooden scores the goal. For them, Wrexham 1-0 uh, up away at Bromley in their quest to try and get into the Football League. Paul Mullin, as he always does, finds the net for Wrexham again. Charlie Austin has now got a hat-trick in this game <laughs> for like Swindon away at Rochdale. That is a, a name that we've all heard for many years. Uh, he's down at Swindon now and they were actually 2-0 up in this game. It's now They were 3-2 down, now it's 3-3. Charlie Austin with <laughs> the goal. Great name this one, Regan Booty. Yeah, I was going to uh, for Maidstone United, it gets a, a late consolation maybe against Maidenhead United. They're two one up against uh, the latter. May Regan Booty, yeah. spelled exactly how you think it would be spelled. Must Booty. have been pretty peak for him growing up at school. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we're saying people calling him delicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go for Tottenham. Eating his birthday. Oh, Go hey! for Tottenham. Ooh. And it's Ivan Perisic. Yeah. With the goal for bitty, Tottenham bitty. to surely, the surely, Fuad this. This keeps Tottenham uh, ahead in the game so and they're surely going to get that. We need that, we need that, we need that, we need that, we need that. Explain the goal to us. You know, three three look, we're only two points ahead, so you know what I'm saying? Hop to third now. Um, let's have a look at this. Kulusevski out wide, corner ball. I'll be, I wouldn't surprise, um, what? Perisic usually takes a corner. Ain't no way he, he scores from a corner. Ain't no way. Kulusevski. 
No, I, oh, I reckon. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I, reckon, take it. I reckon it's a header. Ooh, yeah, I reckon it's a, a header. Good day of headers for Tottenham yeah. if it is a header. Perisic, yeah, header. he loves the old. Keep forgetting, Perisic got a Champions League. Oh yeah, 2019 semi-final. Yeah, yeah. He got them there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I ain't he forgot. Was actually, he was yeah. actually good on loan for them, you know. Yeah, he bro, good. he was key. Because uh, I remember as well, he was crumbling at Inter. And oh the yeah, yeah, were and falling. he needed a way out. And then he just got that move, and it was like, oh shit, I'm a Champions League winner. <laughs> so hey. it's Son with the corner. Oh, he was Son. Okay. Swings it in. Kane with the flick on. It comes oh, go back on then. out. Oh, to I thought gonna lash you know that there, bro. I want to put some more respect to on Hoiberg's name. You know, I, I'm. Ex Bayern as well. Great player. Ex Bayern as well. Ex Bayern as well. Ex Leverkusen. Oh, as well. oh nice. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. oh yeah. Nice. Oh. It's nice. a great finish from Perisic. Yeah, you, you don't Drill save down with the bat. Those Do not are so save hard those. To Why is he not celebrating? Skids off the floor. Former player, isn't it? Skid Southampton. marks off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I tripped in there. <laughs> he believed yeah, it. He, he believed, believed it for a second. No, 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 no. He didn't play for them. He didn't play for them. I don't know why he's celebrating. <laughs> Cheltenham 3x to 1. Alfie May with the goal for Cheltenham to take them 3-1 up now. Just like uh, Perisic has done for Spurs. Um, brilliant finish from him, to be fair. Big week in Cheltenham, to be fair. It is the Gold Cup. How did you get on yesterday? Any any winners? Let us know. Charlie Austin has just scored again. What? For Swindon. He scored oh, four scored. goals. Oh, go on then. And it's another Aston goal for Villa Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Oh, They've mate, doubled their lead up, against mate. the Cherries. Why couldn't mate, Liverpool this is, beat this Bournemouth? This is the most I'm goals sorry. I've seen in a Saturday in my life. Well, um, yeah, it's up there. It's and up there's there. only, but there's only four games as well. It's up there. Jacob Ramsey doubles the lead for Aston Villa, um, and it's a brilliant result. This, if they can stay with it for the Villa, um, beating Bournemouth, who, as we know, have just beaten Liverpool, so they're on a little run themselves. But Charlie Austin, four goals for Swindon today away at Rochdale. It might not sound like the glamour tie that we think it might be, <laughs> um, but Charlie Austin still getting goals. Fair play. Bring him back to the Prem. Do you remember his infamous park life rant? Yeah. It's a joke. It's a joke. Can't not seen that. Supposed to work. Park life. Just scored. Oh shit! Oh, 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 what a finish! This is the shit. DR Sports oh, Saturday football Lord. show. This is people. not good, man. This is not comfortable. Hold on. And it's Theo Walcott. Hole. Who oh has scored? God, oh, oh man, like oh, it just had a to goal be him. and an assist it in the same game oh for God. Theo Walcott. Let's oh see this God. one oh as it happens. Let's see what happens here uh, for Theo Walcott. Down the left How many goals side. in the Premier League has Theo Walcott now scored? Can we get that stat up, please, uh, production? 123. No, uh, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not true. But I reckon it's around about the 80 mark now. I would say for Theo Walcott. Let's have a look at it. James Will Prowse gets the ball on the edge of the box, lays it off to Maitland Niles. Long range effort, oh, great oh, strike. Big and a great hand there from big Fraser Forster. Yeah. Let's out a big roar as he saves that one over the bar, and it's a <laughs> corner for Southampton, which you would assume leads to the goal. Forces 77 the minutes, there. Theo Walcott scores. And it's a former Arsenal man, Maitland Niles. He would have liked that to have scored against. And a former Arsenal Tottenham. man who scored as well. There you go. There you go. I'm the sure he loves that. Connection. Let's see this goal then. It comes in uh, from the corner from James Ward Prowse. Is it another assist for Don't him? Tell he swings it in, headed away from Perisic. Uh, Maitland Niles sure gets it back in. That's a great ball out to Ward Prowse. Why are we so awful at defending wide areas? Shea Adams, Walcott. Oh, no it's way. a goal. 3-2. Oh. Shea bro. Adams again comes to haunt you. Look how wow. many stats. Assist for Shea Adams. I was in literally going to say. And an assist bro, there is six man. There's no one reacting. Klaus. Wow. Yeah, Klaus. that is. Wow. Is that Sekumara as well? Mate, nice I'm hair, bro. So nice hair, bro. Wowza. Speaking of uh, an excuse, uh, poor defending, I wanted to also bring in uh, this topic that will see us off in the, in the Saturday football show today. It's the greatest excuses for losing a football match. <laughs> Okay, so floppy wind. Um, yeah, we've had the wind with Klopp. We've had the pitches too <laughs> wet. Um, <laughs> Jose Mourinho once said at Manchester United, um, sorry, he once cited Barcelona's lack of ball boys <laughs> as a reason why his Madrid side lost to them. Um, wow. Drama queen Mourinho um, has said, Real Madrid gave a spectacular performance from the first to the last minute. We came here to play. What I'm about to say is not a criticism. I'm just stating the fact there were no ball boys in the second half, which is something typical of small teams when experiencing difficulties. Hmm. There you go. Um, Rio Ferdinand's excuse for missing a drugs test. I forgot. Fair I enough. Mean, to be fair, yeah. I have. Um, 
We've also heard the excuse of a haunted boardroom at Bradford FC, right? In 1996. Who came out with that one? Blackpool let a two goal lead slip against Bradford at home at Bloomfield Road and crashed out of the playoffs. Um, it was then said that there was a haunting of the, be- of the boardroom as the oak panelling in there was salvaged. Uh, yeah, oh, there you go. That's Jesus a bit of Christ, a there's a possible red card and he's just snapped his leg there. Oh my God! That is disgusting. Oh. That is Southampton wait, down. Who's is injured? John- Blurred fire. Kaling, mate. Johnny has just studded his ankle. Oh, he's, he's almost snapped it in half. They're VAR reviewing it. He's if, that go is, the if that's not a red card, then... This Luke Ayling looks all right, though. It doesn't, there's no stretches I don't know, on the mate. pitch. He, well, hopefully not, mate. Oh, that is oh, that's disgusting. disgraceful, mate. Damn. Ah, that's right look. over this. Oh, 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 mate. That's How red. is that not that's red? red Stud red. up. Straight. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's How are you flat right. and evil that you can watch that without oh. wincing? You're a madman. I'm giving I always wince. I hate the ankle. The ankle is the worst one for me. Lucky, though, that Ayling's foot isn't planted in the ground? Yeah, because that, 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 that would have, that would have, that would have broken his That would have yeah. snapped his leg. If Luke Ayling is standing up after that, then you've got to give him a lot of credit. I think it's a red card. It has to yeah, be, it has surely. It a red card. I mean... Which would probably kill uh, Wolves. Uh, it is a red, red card. card. It is a red yes. card. Yes! Yep. Get out! And it's Johnny as well. Johnny on the yeah. spot then, are you, son? Disgraceful, man. Give him a 10-match... Give him a 10-match suspension. Look at his face. Suspension. He knows. He, he knows. knows. Yeah. Give him a 10-match suspension. That is the worst The ref won't have to look at that for long. That is a nasty one. Let's have another look at that. Johnny. To be fair, you don't need to look at this twice. You don't need Stug to look up. at this twice. It's once, a red card. Just above enough. the ankle and he stamped down Luke into Luke Ayling, well. again, his boots aren't planted on the floor when it, yeah, studs aren't in the ground. So that helps him. That helps him there. Yeah, Massively. About, yeah. um, Lopetegui oh, having God. to now go down to 10 men and react. Johnny will be out for the next three games. Oh, that's every time you see it, it almost gets worse. Um, but will this give Leeds now the added edge to go and win this game hopefully, and get that three points? Hopefully, but we need Ailing on the pitch, mate, because yeah. he has been immense today, as he always is. I mean, people were writing this guy off, man. They were writing him, writing his obituary at the beginning of the year. But now, second Apparently, half of the Walcott season, has almost just scored again in. for Eddie? Southampton. Oh, and man, I said, so good. What mate, did I say earlier? I said he around was going off injured two minutes prim. ago. He got 79 in the Prem. Does he? So it wasn't a bad shot. Been around for like 20 years. Hmm. Five minutes to go at the Brentford game. Uh, 1-1 with Leicester at the minute. Aston Villa still 2-0 up at home to Bournemouth. Southampton 2, Tottenham 3, Wolves 2, Leeds 3. Two classics going on on DR Sports right now. I wanted to bring it back to the excuses. If you've got any more, do let me know. But Sir Alex Ferguson once famously blamed his side's 6-2 defeat to Southampton because of the kit um, he's saying uh, when oh. United went in at halftime 3-0 down Ferguson ordered the players to change kits and what a difference it made they scored a goal in the second half and only lost 3-1 <laughs> what the hell does he um, <laughs> well they were, both, they were wearing this horrible grey kit he got them to change into a blue and white one and they still lost the game um, I remember that kit. blaming on the crowd making noise Sutton United striker <laughs> Adrian Bradman once blamed missing an open goal on the crowd making too much noise <laughs> How wow. dare they? Yes. How dare they? Wow. Says, Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> yeah. Quiet, please. Uh, let's get some more excuses up. Keep them I'm coming in the, in the comments. Uh, we've also, of course, heard Thomas oh, Tuchel blame the pitch for an Arsenal defeat once. Oh, yeah. um, I actually go back to some saw... real football, yeah? Yeah. yeah cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what's that? Back to the Spurs game. Mate, uh, eight minutes to go football. at St. Mary's. Sahara settings. Um, oh, Celtic go on, Harry. Give him some of that. O has just scored the goal to take Celtic 2 1 up at home against Hibs. Sunderland have Who? just scored O. Young O-H. Oh, my. Oh. 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 There he is. Oh. There he is. You. Oh, you. Young <laughs> you. Oh. No, you didn't. <laughs> you mean me? Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, you mean. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, no, I see. No, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs> as I said, Sunderland now one all at home to Luton. Ahmad with the goal. Big up Ahmad. Uh, for them Yellow. in that game. Wrexham now 2 1 up. Mullin mm. scoring two goals, but Cheek, the cheek Oof. of it, yeah. of Bromley player Cheek Cheeky to get a constellation <laughs> back there. Uh, getting back on excuses, David James, right? We once, uh, I say we, Liverpool played Newcastle in 1997. It was 4 3 to Liverpool, but in that game, David James made three, not one, not two, but three huge errors in the game whilst playing. And he said it was because of 
he played too much Tekken 2 and Tomb Raider the night before. That happens to the Jeez. best of us, man. Who would have once, thought once it? Once those combos start flying, you know, <laughs> next thing you know, a few uh, hours later, no sleep in the bag. <laughs> Pep Guardiola once blamed uh, the Bulls being too light in a game against uh, Wolves in a penalty shootout. Uh, the ball was unacceptable for a high-level competition. It is too light. It moves all over the place. It is not a good ball. It's impossible to score with a ball like that. And I can say that because we won. Uh, I'm not making excuses. All of my players said, what is that? I'm sorry with Carabao Cup. It's not a serious ball for a serious competition. I'm not too sure. Obviously, Jurgen Klopp blaming the wind in 2019 when we were hold to a disappointing goalless draw. And I'm sure there's more as well. The most famous one for me, maybe not the most well known, but Real Betis played Wolves in a preseason game last season. Mm -hmm. And oh. um, Joaquin was listed on the absentees. And the reason was drunk because it was his 40th birthday and his genuine reason for not showing up to that preseason game was he was too hungover to play it's for yes. his 40th birthday. Fair enough, man. He, Emilio, so, Emilio Buendia. Oh, yes. 3-0 Aston Villa. 3-0 now Aston Villa at home to Bournemouth. Uh, Emiliano Buendia. Good day for him. Because mm -hmm. that's what his surname actually oh, means hey, in look Spanish. Look at this one. Another A-Link. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Slavia getting crunched. What a voice. Skin. Yeah. Um, any more excuses? Let us know in the comments. Uh, Todd Bowley blamed their 4-4-3 four, four, formation, saying pro F2D. Um, as we know, that is Does an Lasagna impossible formation to have. Lasagna? Lasagna? Yeah, no, Lasagna. Potentially. Um, I'd have that in there. Pizzagate? No, I'm not sure if that's an excuse. Really an excuse. That was just that an was aftermath <laughs> of a fight. That was after the game. Um, Cesc Fabregas. Classless. <laughs> classless. Of all the players you'd expect to be classless that ruckus, it was not a Cesc Fabregas. No, it was. No. A little shit from the academy. Of course it was. What? 2004, you got yeah, the Kings, the Vieras all popping it. off, and you Hide just got little old, old Cesc Fabregas in the, in the back. Slimy boy. Emerson Real coming on. You know we're fucked now. How's he? Kulisevsky was came on and getting subbed off. Yeah. yeah. Brother. He only came on after that's weird. minutes though, right? So he's not played the full well. game. Lord of mercy, man. Uh, right, Happy we song. have... We're, well, we're literally right in the final uh, knockings on. of this Wolves game. Like Can Leeds hold on? It's 3-2 at the Come minute. On, we're finding it's out how much, much added this, time there will be. But if this Leeds three points does come through, it's a massive Last result Last time my stomach Leeds. was this bad was when we did that death sauce in the studio. Yeah. And that was a bad time. For sure. Um, no. 86 minutes gone now uh, in... The Southampton game as well. It's been a red card for Bristol Rovers. Uh, Jarrell Quanza for Violet Conduct goes off there for mm. Bristol Rovers um, with his manager being Joey Barton. You wonder where that came from. Mm -hmm. um, but less of that. Seven minutes added time at Leeds. Damn. Seven minutes. Wow. Oof. Big important period the, now the red to card hold on. Yeah. Jesus Christ. How is Ailing though? Is he still playing? I think he's come still, yeah, yeah, he seems, Fair play seems, to him seems good for to getting me, up. Yeah, shouldering on. Uh, Graham Shoulder. Potter said that Shoulder. they have too much money, which is why they couldn't score, saying pro to DF. Um, <laughs> too much oil as well. <laughs> too much what? For them. <laughs> too much oil. Because of Anthony Taylor, Don Robbie's excuse, um, saying netty, netty. <laughs> because. Robbie does love an excuse. I've got to say, refs. he does love an excuse, Robbie. They love a ref. If you're watching, big up to you, the boss man. But um, to be he fair does love an him, excuse. It had been raining. <laughs> Ty, <laughs> Ty, famous one, yeah. famous excuse. That we was the forget that it's been raining. <laughs> to be fair, Robbie did shoot him down in that uh, video for for having such an outlandish comment there. Um, but more excuses, let us know. Because of Lee Mason saying Andrew Green, Ty for it was raining. Of course, we mm -hmm. remember that one there. Um, Jarrell Quensar is a Liverpool graduate saying Bushido Brown. That's why we like to read out the things like red card at Bristol Rovers because you get like, little comments like that. Mm -hmm. You know, why it's does that name ring a bell? Not. I actually don't Bushido remember Brown. that name. Huh? Mm. Bushido Brown. Bushido That's from Brown. a film, man. Red no. card, Shandon oh, Baptiste. Oh, man. Ooh, Ooh, from a film. Another red card. Hang red card at Brentford. Shandon Baptiste. Shandon Ooh, Baptiste. La, la, la. Is That's a great name. In... Shandon. I love a Shandon. He's been please. Shand, the red card. Yeah, back, back to the comment. Uh, Bushido. I... Well, Bushido only Brown. Bushido I know is a German rapper, so that's, that's the only Bushido I know. What's that film, man? AGT's excuse when Doyle had to take the cherries on Monday weekend roundup. Black Dynamite. B Boondocks. Oh, oh! Bushido Black Dynamite. Boondocks, apparently. In Bushido Brown, yeah. He is, you know Black Dynamite, the film? Yeah. He is the Boondocks cartoon yeah, version yeah, yeah. of oh, it. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I yeah, watched yeah, yeah, yeah. Boondocks recently. That's why it rung a bell. I was like, yo, where have I seen that? Yeah. They hire him as a contracted 
he protects the family, but then at the last minute, ah, yeah, the hateocracy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Boondocks is a hateocracy? classic. Hateocracy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's um, if you ever know Stink Mina, do you, do you remember the Moonlocks, Stink no. Mina? So there's this hateful old man basically, and he dies, and when he dies, basically the hateocracy was this group of. Uh, friends he had at an old people's home mm-hmm. and they were just purebred haters they woke up every day see another old lady enjoying herself what sweep her feet <laughs> see an old lady drinking a cup of tea what dip your fingers in the tea like the hateocracy they called themselves so when stink mina died they went on like a revenge to get it back for who killed him and it was the whole episode was about that basically he let <gasps> oh penalty for Southampton that has shot through and up that has shot him up great oh, little equaliser for Yeovil God. as well where at Halifax big up to Makaila <laughs> Linton in the 88th no, minute but I need to see this penalty for Southampton unbelievable I need to see no, this please no please please just don't. Unbelievable scenes here. Oh, like also, this. what in terms is of going excuses, to happen? Do we remember when Julian from AFTV blamed the loan system for Chelsea beating them? Wow. Unbelievable there. Um, there was wow, also wow, wow. another Grace excuse. Is a fair point, but you better... That's not a handball, man. He's got his arms oh, behind his back, man. Never, oh, piss me off. Never, man. Never, never a handball in a million years. That's very harsh. VAR review. Penalty. Come on, VAR, man. VAR, get that very, out of there. Not very a hard, man. Never not a penalty. Pen. Yeah, we move. Come on, man. We move. We move! We move! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give the pen. <laughs> Don't give the pen. What's going on? Oh, turn the free. P- oh. No, man. No, no, no. Wait, no. so the- it's a penalty. So wait, the- wait, Lee Mason wait, gives wait, the pen. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. So he didn't give it for the handball, but no. I- He's giving it that for a foul. Oh, I see more contact during social distancing. Come on, never. man. Never. Come on, brother. Are you Never. That's racist. What? This is the pen confirmed. The pen has been confirmed. It is a oh, penalty for it's South Africa. Oh, that is a pen. Ooh. That's a pen. Maitland Niles, former oh, Arsenal eight. player, gets scythed down by the sub. Oh, he does! Dan Juma. Him, man. Let's have another look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. He grazes his shirt. Oh, come on! God. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. That's not Are you me. kidding me? Come, come on! on. Oh, it's been confirmed. Are we being it's, serious it's here? It's been confirmed. Is this is massive. Is contact sport come or not? Saints. Come on, James oh Ward-Prowse. My God. James Ward-Prowse to draw. He's Jordan. kicked the JWP, air. JWP, step up to the plate. Can I just say as well, Rochdale 4, Swindon 4. Woo. Ian, Ian Henderson, Henderson, 90 it's minutes plus 4. It's 4-4 four, four in ah. that one. It's also full time now. Aston Villa 3, Bournemouth 0. And this is a very, very that nervy is, ending I'm here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. For that's Southampton not a and Tottenham. He hasn't touched him. He hasn't touched him. Obviously, yet. you're saying that because you want Southampton. No, to look, get man, a I'm here. saying that because I, I like the sport. I enjoy the sport, okay? I'm a man. Goal! Of the- oh! <laughs> it's it's really a goal. It's James, James Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse. Poetic justice for the set piece specialist, JWP. G- gets w- a last minute. Why'd like your boys let me down again, oh, man? Oh, again. Unbelievable. Ooh, I come in here. Unbelievable. It's not two to Leeds. Oh, 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 it's Rodrigo. It's Rodrigo Moreno. <laughs> and just when you think I've been dragged into the present, he comes back. So pull me back into delirium. Rodri Goat Moreno, the best striker in Premier League history. And it's full time now Woo. at the Molyneux Stadium. It's the last kick Woo. of the game. Wolves 2, Leeds 4. Vamos massive, carajo. massive, massive result for Leeds under Javi Gracia, who definitely does know ball. But it's last kick of the game. In every game, oh, apart from at St. Mary's. Him. How Brentford to finish cool. the game with Leicester. It's finished 1-1 there at the GTEC Stadium. Big oh. result that for Leicester. And it's also another goal right at the end for Middlesbrough. 4-0. Marcus Ooh. Force, 90 plus 5 minutes. Uh, and Middlesbrough uh, continue their incredible run in the championship. What a result that is for them. And don't forget, we've also got other football tonight as well. Manchester City play Burnley in the FA Cup. Let's have another look at James Ward-Prowse's penalty. Oh, oh what top a bins. Wow. Do not save what that a penalty. At all, my friend. Oh, my goodness. You do not save that. Spurs have gone. For, what was the score? 3 1. Was it 3 1? 3 1. And they've thrown it away. Wow. Stoke 0, Norwich 0. Full time in the championship as well. There is still some time to go, though, in this Southampton game. Crazy. We're looking at maybe 45 seconds to go there Just at St. Mary's. Late winner, and I am laughing all the way to the bank, mate. Wow. 
Wow. Bottled uh, what in the comments. I've got to say, what a finish had. by Rodrigo, by uh, the way. Spools pulled a Spurs. More Fraud and school. top Spur. Fuad out here rolling in the mud saying Pyramid Scheme. Um, <laughs> good name. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> Poundland <laughs> Lalana getting crumbs in his bed Wait, saying Buffalo the Soldier. They are reviewing. The game was over. The oh. game surely was over. The game let's was have over a, and they re let's, they. The what? VAR oh, it's a great the finish from Rodrigo, though. I by the way. It's a scintillating finish. More class than your local secondary school. Well, the either chip. way, absolutely. You've won the but game. But the game was finished. What are they VARing? The final whistle had gone. What are they going to give them? And a 4 2 win now? I don't know. Well, we were, um, Spurs just can't escape our Arsenal goal and an assist from Walker and a pen for a foul on Maitland Niles, says London Nomad. What an ending to this show, by the way. Crazy. So the game is now back on, is it? What? <laughs> Did you uh, back on? They restarted the game. They've blown the full time yeah, whistle. Let's play some few, a few more minutes. Wait, what's is this, now? this is to decide whether it stays 3 2 or 4 2. Oh, full time yeah. Halifax. Oh, I, I don't know. Drawing at home to Yeovil Town. A good point for the Glovers on the road there in Halifax. Scunthorpe United 4, Wheelstone 1. Derby in League One losing 2 0 at home to Fleetwood. Wow, oh. how the mighty have fallen for, uh, for Derby. But we're still yet to find out here if, if you this see goal what this stands. Is, he's touched his shorts. His hand has grazed Adama Traore's shorts, and they're actually contemplating this. So they've started, First, restarted the I game. Mean, it's finally full the time. VAR's broken. How that Spurs one Rochdale was a penalty, 4, I don't know. Swindon 4, that's now finished. And they give the goal. Now the goal. Stands. Yeah, they have. They what give the goal, and surely now the full here. whistle will, the full time whistle will blow at Molyneux. Surely. The whistle. Yeah. surely. Can the whistle go in this fucking shithole, man? <laughs> <laughs> Fuad, not happy in the slightest here. Um, wow. Oh, I'm just tired of this team. Barnet won, Notts County won. As I said, that should really be a League Two game, but it's one all uh, at Barnet. Millwall have lost at home to Huddersfield in the Championship. Yeah. Bad result for Millwall in their quest to try and get in the Premier League. Um, we are really, really playing in deep, deep, deep added time. But there's been a red card. But where's it gone to? Ooh, I don't know. Where has it gone, gone to? to? What's Wolves? going on? Mateus Nunez for abusive Again? language. Abusive Where? language, Where? Mateus Nunez. Two red cards. <laughs> Wolves down oh, to nine men. Oh, shove that in your pipe and smoke it. So, oh, yeah, how dare you, mate. I think he's trying to cuss up Javi Grazio. Who's this guy? I think the, he is, He's mate. on the bench. I think he is on the bench, yeah. Wow. Red cards for yeah. Mateus Nunez from the bench wow. in his tracksuit. 90 In his jacket. 10. He's not even in wearing he's track track He's wearing trouser pants. He's got trouser pants and so smart shoes on. Oh, no, there he is. Oh, he's getting dragged away by oh. Diego Costa. That's yeah. a bad sign when Diego Costa's getting, <laughs> get, uh, yeah. dragging you away from a fight. <laughs> Mateus Nunes still trying to speak what's or, he, what's or remonstrate with he? the referees. Yeah. Totally lost his head from the side of the picture. He's not even played in this game. And he sent off Mateus Nunes. Diego Costa having to drag him down the tunnel. I cannot believe what I've seen. Wolves end up here with nine men. And the game after it's finishing going on. has it's now restarted. On in <laughs> given minute. a goal and a red card to a player that wasn't even on the pitch. Lobotegi saying, puta madre. I can, I can <laughs> see it all from the side of the bit. Um, wow. Mate, there's going to be a scrap here in the Barclays. What a day this has been. 3-3, three, three, wow. it still stands at St. Mary's. That one's still going on somehow. Uh, a minute and a half past the allocated five minutes here at St. Mary's. Wait, I don't understand what's going Wait, on Wait, the here, game's actually. still going on here. I thought what they were going to blow the whistle. The we're in the 100th minute on. and they've got Blows a corner. The fucking we're in the 100th minute and they've got a damn corner. Minutes. We're in the 99th minute here wow. at, at St. Mary's. It was the more minutes. I really don't know what's going on here. Wait, they're in the ninth. You had the Davis they're injury in the similarly like 99th minute here. 101st, 102nd minute. Wait, what's going on? Is that a penalty? What's what? happening here? What's going on? Full time. What is going South on? Full time. Southampton three, Tottenham three. Fuad in the mud. Tottenham bottling a two goal lead. <laughs> if you're with us right now to find uh, Fuad's tears, there's over 4,000 of you right now. Make sure you are smashing that like button, by the way. Please I hate smash every it. single fucking one of you. It's finished the championship as well. Watford won, Wigan won. It's oh. also Ipswich two, Shrewsbury nil, Wickham nil, Barnsley won. Big win for Barnsley away in the champion, uh, in League One. And it is now full oh, time. Full time. Holy Leeds Jesus. do take the three points and it's 4-2 away at Wolves. Wolves end up with nine men. Well, actually, yeah. no, they've ended up with 10 men because one of the men that got sent off wasn't even playing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, yes, yes. Yeah, have we ever said that before? And I, I've that's never seen show. a game end and then get restarted and, and carry on, on for ages. Actually, I have. Uh, Man well, United, the Brighton. Brighton. Yeah, yeah, but they didn't actually restart the game. They just disallowed the pen, well. didn't they? 
he blew the, the final World whistle, Cup. and then we got a penalty. Yeah, game restarted and we got a penalty and Bruno scored. Bruno, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Didn't they disallow Shamelessly the penalty? Shamelessly celebrated. Sorry. Yeah. Didn't they disallow the penalty? And then we had to oh, retake no, no, it. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. They gave the pen after the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But didn't he, something happened, then he had to retake the pen, no? No, I don't no? think so. Okay. I actually saw it at the World Cup with a Griezmann goal against uh, Tunisia. Was it Algeria? In the World Cup, this last World Cup, the yeah. game was nil-nil. Yeah. Uh, Griezmann scored last second blow the whistle 1-0 one -nil finish actually let's check the screen oh no, I remember no yeah, yeah 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 0-0 yeah. nil -nil finish yeah I remember yeah. Yeah. unbelievable I can't believe this day on the Saturday football show conceding three to Southampton saying James Boris um, football heritage saying big, big boss KO in the comments Walcott goal and an assist of course it would be against Tottenham uh, I'm sorry Schmuck. to my Somali warrior saying <laughs> Haji Ahmed big up to you X cool uh, AGT called X he's in Dubai shall we try should we try and call X? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for it. You like Why a proper let wind up merchant. Let's, let's, let's let a man be yeah. on holiday. Man can't even enjoy their breaks. <laughs> What's wrong with people? No, we're, we're, we're FaceTiming expressions right now. Whether he picks up LP, or not, LP, it's a doesn't. I hope he doesn't uh, pick up for his own like, Don't call me, blood. <laughs> it's a different me, blood. question entirely. Um, Celtic have also finished the day winning 3-1 at home to Hibs. It was a tough game and it wasn't an easy one for them at all. Um, X is still ringing. I'm showing you the ringing. Doesn't look like he's going to pick that one up. To be fair, if I was in Dubai and some sausage called me from Hell back home, no. I wouldn't be picking up. I'm not up picking anymore. up. But there you go. Um, Douglas uh, Luis, uh, FaceTime unavailable from expressions there. Where do you end this one? Where do you start? Unbelievable. Um, Aston Villa, three. Bournemouth, nil. Brentford, one. Leicester, one. Southampton, three. Tottenham Hotspur, three. Wolves, two. Leeds, Four in the championship, big results for Portsmouth away at Bristol Rovers. As we said, Derby losing at home. Sorry, this is League One. Sheffield Wednesday drawing at home to Bolton. Um, Burton getting a win. Forest Green losing under their new manager, uh, Duncan Ferguson, away at Plymouth, um, as well as a few other results there in League One. But where do we start big, here? Big, What's big going on? Big for you guys, here? actually. Liverpool. Liverpool now with two games in hand over Spurs. Nice. Sit. Just seven points behind them with that point there. Massive points drop for Spurs. You could you actually could be, be And Tottenham have got to there. come to Anfield soon as well. well I just oh. don't mean to come out. This is April, oh, 30th. Now, April 30th. April 30th. Listen, you're yet to welcome. Secure, you've got a, you're playing Arsenal at home and Spurs at home soon. Yeah. Oh, that's that's good. West Ham in the West Ham April? in the drop yeah. now. Yeah. April 9th against yeah. Arsenal. April 30th at home to Tottenham. Okay. Liverpool's next three games, by the way. Um, City away. Chelsea away, Arsenal at home. What? Yeah. Wow. That's Liverpool for you. <laughs> to be fair, you, you've got the majority of, the, of, of your squad back. So it, Luis Diaz to come back. However, Bejetic out for the season now, which is a massive oh, is shame it? for Liverpool. Adductor injury. Keeps him Ooh. out for a good few months. Um, right. As we mentioned earlier, there is a massive UFC stream tonight on DR Sports starting from nine o'clock. We've got Robbie. Uh, we've got Zaki as well. And amongst other guests. Are you on that one? I uh, don't believe I am. No. Oh, you should be because you know your stuff clearly. But um, that one starts at nine tonight. It's Leon Edwards versus Usman in the third fight in their trilogy. It's going to be an absolute belter. And then tomorrow on DR Sports, we've got El Clasico. I know you guys love to see Raul and Nico face off. It's always a good one to watch them two go out. Yeah, definitely be There's real in. hate there. Yeah. Trust me. There's real hate there between the two teams. Um, and how many Clasicos have we had recently? We've been spoiled, have we not? But what a show. What a way to end up uh, the Saturday football show on DR Sports with myself, AGT, the unhappy Fuad, who has seen his team bottle a two-goal lead. Still a great performance from you today. Forget your team. I'm bigging you up today, big man. How about that? It's not working, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's smiling. I got a smile. <laughs> Grinning teeth. Um, Mate, it's been a real bad day. You lost a poll to me as well as yeah, your team. I mean, to that's, be fair, uh, actually, that's, if you saw that's the end really of that, I was actually 50 50 it ended, you know? <laughs> Nah, yeah, 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 the same right, way you got the alcohol yeah, thing wrong. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know, mate. It was 65 uh, 35 when I saw it. Nice. it was, <laughs> can we get a photo finish on that? People uh, saw the wild statements he was making after. Said, nah, 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 nah. nah. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> hold, <laughs> Let's balance. <laughs> uh, massive shout out to Aaron as well. Uh, a better performance from him last time. Sorry, better performance from him this time than last time on DR Sports where your team did lose 7 0. And that is something that I can live with forever. All right. So massive shout out to you for coming on, bro. Your, your knowledge me. is always massively appreciated. Yeah, nice. This guy knows ball. 
This guy knows ball. Speaking of people that don't know ball, to my right. No, I'm joking. Oh, it's a joke. Wow. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Give him a little something, bro. Hey, he deserves a clap. You're leaving with something. You're leaving with something. And your team won. Big up to you, my friend. Four two winners away at Wolves, which is more than I can say for my team. And I'm happy I'm not even watching Liverpool this weekend. I can go home and enjoy some other football on TV. And shout out to yourself as well. Oh, thank you, mate. Big up. No, no, no. Give yourself a round of applause again. Is here doing the business. Thank you, my friend. Amazon Prime it was delivery. great to be back. I'll be back tomorrow for El Clasico. We'll be back on here at nine o'clock tonight. And then don't miss, do not miss the weekend roundup show on Monday. It's probably our most looked forward to show, I'd say, isn't it? Fuad yeah. these days, the weekend roundup. I was cooked on it last week. I wasn't even there. Uh, but Fuad <laughs> will be getting cooked. But Arsenal play Crystal Palace at home tomorrow. We'll Am be, I there? We'll, 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 we'll be cooking Robby <laughs> on Monday morning, come, mid, uh, come midday. Who knows? But listen, stay tuned to DR Sports. We've got it all covered for you the whole weekend. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Please like the button uh, that says like. Please uh, comment with your thoughts on the show. And obviously subscribe to DR Sports. We'll see you next time. Take care. I have this week, Saturday on DR Sports, we're going to be hosting a very special watch along. It's UFC 286. And we're going to be doing a watch along to the big fight it is leon edwards versus kamara usman you've got to come and check it out live here on dr sports i'm going to be hosting it with our brand new mma host zaki we'll be giving you the lowdown on the fight yeah 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 easy bro you ready what's all that what's all this you said you're gonna get stuck in we're gonna no no i ain't signed up for that no 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 what do you mean you, that's that's what we said we're gonna do okay we'll worry about robbie in a sec but listen make sure you join us on Saturday evening from nine o'clock, UFC 286, Kamaru Usman versus Leon Edwards, the trilogy fight. Who's gonna win? We'll find out on Saturday. Make sure you join us. Robbie, I swear we're gonna go light. Uh, uh, I'm tapping, I'm tapping. <laughs>